Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, welcome back. So, uh, we are going to continue today with finishing off Haruka, and with a bit of luck, we can make some more progress today. I wonder what this giant machine is. Has my IF8 caught your eye, young lady? Hmm, hello there. Say, didn't we meet in the Sotenbori? Minamida-san, was it? So, what is it, this here? This is the latest version of the Inner Fighter. More precisely, the main unit of the Inner Fighter 8 road battle. It's the same game you played in Southern Bori. Well, care to play? Oh, Haruka doesn't have a boss battle. Okay. Kamarucho. Zilla does he? Ura, ura. Look, I'm being a magical girl. Audio is a little bit low to my end. Sama. Hey Lizzie. This is Haruka's magical girl arcade game. Sort of. Zilla and Lizzy today.
Gita. Guess I'll just have to throw sparkling things. You guys are interrupting my sparkling time. How rude. your abilities. Okay, uh, we need to do the Soten Bori one like eight times. Because <clears throat> that one is the shortest. And Haruka can do flashback battles, which is sad. Taking your meds, you weren't supposed to. My... Okay, that's one soul orb. Ay, 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 ay. Sweet dreams are made of fees.
look hard, you can jump. Victory! Okay, that's number two. Six more to go. You know what surprises me? That my webcam doesn't actually shake in the image. Even though my the spots that it's standing on shake is like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. Oh, three. Oh, I'm so happy when this is done. There's only one character left to do after this. I think to be the boss or level fucking eight times is overkill, bruh.
four. Because you already can't remember what the last number was that he used. <laughs> yeah, four, I think. Even though I have five, I think I left with one. Or started with one, I should say. That's five, three more times to go. One, two, three, four, and five.
aggressive and eight, two, three, four, five. Was this seven or was this eight? <laughs> Heck if I know. Let's go check. Okay, this was seven. Next one is eight. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Close in the middle. Done with Haruka. At least the training part. This training part. Okay. Back to Sotenbori. Sotenbula. city okay from here we go to east less walking
wrong button. Uh, wrong thing, I mean, whatever. Okay, save real quick. Because I don't want to do that over again. Skuajulu. Damn, actually quite a lot still left. Anyways, love to see you smile part one. Let's go. Take this job. Hell yeah, bro. Hello, thank you for coming today. My name is Ioka. I'm the director of Love to See You Smile. Hello. I'm Haruka Sawamura of Dynachair. It's very nice to meet you. You as well. So let me tell you about the show you're going to be on today. Love to See You Smile is one of Osaka's longest running talk shows. Our host, Nomu-san, and the guest of the day talk to others... Talk to each other one-on-one, -on -one, discussing a variety of funny and interesting topics. You know who Nomu-san is, yes? He's the heart and soul of the show, not to mention the most popular TV host in Osaka right now. You'll be on for five segments, so including this one, we'll be doing five recording sessions. Nomu-san will guide the conversation, so just relax and go with the flow. And when the audience shouts encouragement, you can smile or wave. Okay, I understand. Great, lastly, when the talk segments are over, the audience gets to vote. Vote? Yes. That's the tough part of the show. Every audience member who thinks the guest was interesting gives the guest one vote of support. We count those as smiles. The perfect score is 100. We're hoping you can get at least 70 smiles. And I suppose I wouldn't be saying much of your popularity if you didn't, right? Right, I'll do my best. All right, we're about to get ready. Knock him dead, Haruka-chan. Welcome to see you smile. How's everybody doing today? So so I see so that's all right then How are you all sleeping these days? So so and what's that toy children flick up and down? Yo, yo, haha. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Your lovely audience. We are gonna get along just great Okay, our guest today is on our show for her first time ever. She is a rising singer fresh on the scene. Welcome, Haruka Sawamura-chan. Hello, everyone. I'm Haruka Sawamura. It's nice to meet you all. Haruka-chan, you're so cute. Yes, she is adorable, isn't she? A true idol. Thank you very much. Well, let's get to know you a little better, shall we? They tell me you're from Okinawa. Okinawa has a very warm climate, right? Doesn't that make Osaka too chilly for you? No, not at all. It's just a little cooler here than in Okinawa, but I like Osaka's weather just fine. I'm glad to hear that. You must notice a lot of difference between Osaka and Okinawa. What's your general impression of Osaka so far? The comedians here are funny. They're very funny. Even ordinary people, even ordinary pe people kid around a lot. They all have this way of making their conversation hilarious. Yeah, that's what we Osakans like to hear. We pride ourselves on being the home of comedy, after all. And now that you are on Osakan TV, you must have the chance to meet lots of comedians. Tell us, would you ever consider going out with any of them? Mm. Oh, um, well, under the right circumstances, maybe I might. <laughs> she doesn't mean it, folks. I can tell by the look in her eyes. Okay, Haruka-chan. I hear you've been in the entertainment industry for about six months, is that right? Did a scout find you? Yes, that's right. I was just doing some shopping when someone came up to me. Ah, oh, with those looks, it's no surprise. But weren't you suspicious of this person coming up to you out of the blue? Yes, actually I was. Well, now that you're an entertainer, entertainer, what do you think? What's been the biggest thrill so far? Meeting you, Nomu-san. 
Arigachan. Big fan. <laughs> there you go, Harikachan. That's the perfect answer. You'll do well in this business, and I just became your diehard fan for life. Oh, thank you. And look at that beautiful smile, folks. We love to see you smile. Now, let's see. You've been living alone since you came to Osaka, haven't you? That's right. My agency provided an apartment for me. Have you ever lived on your own before? Isn't it lonely being there all by yourself? Um, no, it feels new and exciting. I've never done it before, so everything just feels new and exciting. Well, that sounds nice. But don't you get homesick every now and then? Well, I've been alright so far. I'm usually so busy I don't have much time to think about it. Ah, I know... I know what keeping, what's keeping you business, the Princess League, right? Ah, never m miss a show myself, but I guess I have to say that, right? It's one of the station shows, after all. Lol. Well, time flies when you're having fun, as they say, and it looks like we're just about off it. Thank you so much. Now comes the part our guests always say, always say makes them nervous. It's time for the smile votes. Each one of our audience members has a button in front of them. If they think Harika-chan has been interesting, they'll press their button and give her a smile. Harika-chan, if you get 70 smiles or more, I'll give you an exclusive Nomu-san cell phone strap. Before voting begins, why don't you go ahead and say something to the audience? All right. Which was it? Thank you, everyone. I'm back. I'm alone, finally. I'm so lonely. I mean, what? What are you up to today, Lizzie? Isn't she absolutely adorable? I hope you all vote for her too. Okay, audience. If you thought Haruka-chan was interesting, press your buttons now. I'm at work. Work, work. Yeah, whoa, fantastic job, Haruka-chan. Looks like we found another one of our many talents, of your many talents. Thank you very much. And best of all, you win the Nomu-san strap. Well, until we meet again, What's that we say? Love to see you smile! Ah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Haruka-chan. That went well. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, you're pretty good at this talk show thing. Keep it up for next time. Up for next time, and we'll have some great shows. 1.5 experience points soon. Yordi, why aren't you smiling? Because I can't smile. If I smile, people die. My smile doesn't light the way. My smile only darkens the way. Love to see you smile meeting. That's a new one. We love to see you smile, so you love to see everyone die? Okay, good to know, Lizzie. <laughs> and that's the general outline of how the show will go. Are you all set now? Yes, thank you very much. Now to meet with Mr. Nomu. Oh, hey, Nomu-san. Hello, Nomu-san, how are you? Oh, hello, I always love to see you smile, Haruka-chan. <laughs> Come to think of it. You're from Dinachera, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Why do you ask? It's just that you remind me of her. Mind you of someone? Yes, there's something about you that makes me think of your president when she was young. Really? Park son? So Harvestella is getting good. I think I'm nearing the end, though. I'm on chapter six. Only six chapters? Damn. That's right. I've been a host of this show for a long time, but back when I first started out, Park Chan appeared as a guest a few times. We were both really new to the business, so we couldn't quite find our rhythm together. It's kind of embarrassing, really. But over the course of a long career, I guess you're bound to have a few flubs here and there. Well, Parkson was on your show, too. You know, I really thought she was going to take off more. She had such promise. She had real talent, that one. But I guess it just wasn't in her cards. To survive in this business, talent's key, of course, but... A lot of things just boil down to luck. 
Indeed, not everyone, not everybody gets the same chances, you know. That's where the luck part comes into play. And for some, no matter how talented they may be, that lucky chance just never comes. That's the cold hard truth of it. So for those lucky ones whose chance comes for them, they have to be sure to reach out and grab it. Until then, it's a matter of pouring everything you have into your work and just believing that someday your chance will come. Apparently there's 10, but I'm taking my time with it. Oh, okay. Pushing our skills for that chance at stage, that's what our work's all about. As a matter of fact, it's not just our work. I think the same applies to all kinds of jobs. Maybe even life itself. No, son. But what am I rambling on about? <laughs> Sorry, got kind of serious there, didn't I? Never mind me. But I do want to say that the Princess League is your big chance, Haruka-chan. Be sure to grab it, you hear? Think of all those poor people whose chances will never come. And give it your all. Yes, sir! Well, I guess I'll be on my way. So many side quests, Jordi. Yeah, I've been taking my time with Yakuza as well. So many side quests. And it only has five chapters. <laughs> he may make some inappropriate jokes on air, but offstage he's a much deeper and more caring person than you think. So I remind him of Parkson when she was young. If I won the Prince Sleek, I wonder if she'd be proud of me. Super proud. Schedule! Love to see you smile, part two. Hello, Ark Chan. Thanks for coming again today. This is the second time on the show, isn't it? Good luck to you today. Thank you. I'll do my best. Sam, we want to talk about your hobbies and special talents. You know, things that are more personal to you. Just follow Nomusan's lead and you'll be fine. Oh, by the way, Nomusan has been doing commercials for the hangover medicine lately. He'll probably bring it up here and there. So just play along, okay? All right, I understand. Great. And since this is your second appearance on the show, we're hoping you get at least 75 smiles this time around. All right, we're about ready to get started. Knock him dead, Haruka-chan. Now you got a smile. Yeah, I don't know. That's the thing of the model that's been bothering me all this time already. How, how do you like my smile, Lizzie? You like my smile? Her? Her? <laughs> I didn't die. It's because you're in a church. The church uh, withholds my power of killing you. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Love to See You Smile. How is everybody doing today? So, so, very nice. You said it all in unison. Okay, how are you all sleeping these days? So, so, and what's the acronym uh, for You Only Live Once? YOLO! Wow, is that a 2012 thing? Damn. Thank you for always playing along with me, folks. I really appreciate it. Let's get started then, shall we? Today's guest will be joining us for the second time now. It's the lovely singing sensation Haruka Sawamura-chan. Hello everyone, I'm Haruka Sawamura. It's nice to see, you all, see all of you. Haruka-chan, you're so cute! What a great smile you have, Haruka-chan. Who wouldn't fall in love with you? Thank you very much. Okay, today let's touch on your personal life a little bit, shall we? I'm sure you have quite a busy schedule these days. Do you get any time off? Not really. Even when I'm not working, I still have singing and dancing lessons every day. That sounds pretty, ru pretty rough. If you could have a day off, how would you want to spend it? I'd like to take a little eating tour. Take a little eating tour. I'd love to just walk around Osaka and try out all the different foods. Yeah, after all, Osaka is the town of culinary extravagance. Hey, I could show you around some great places. And when you get a little older, we can go out drinking too. I'd like that. You would, really? Hmm, I think your agency might have something to say about that. <laughs> so, what else do you like to do when you have time? Do you have a hobby you're into? A hobby? Well, let's see. Come on, there must be some sort of things you like to do. Work is pretty much my hobby, I guess. Yeah. 
It's just so much fun. I really love it. Aren't you uh, the diligent one? And at such a young age too. But you really should have other hobbies, you know. And you should tell people about them. Why is that? Because the more people you tell, the greater the chance you'll get offered TV commercials. Haha! <laughs> Take me for example. I always talk about how much I like sake. So f I finally got offered the commercial. And was it for sake? No, it was for hangover medicine. <laughs> What's the name of the medicine? Now, now, you're the guest here. You don't have to worry about plugging my sponsor. That's my job. <laughs> Well, if you were of legal drinking age, we could talk about sake. Oh, how good would a cup of sake taste if you were the one who poured it? You're that cute, I'm telling you. My goodness, you're so cute, Haruka-chan! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> wave! Haruka-chan! You really are adorable. <laughs> Thank you very much. But if you were the one who was pouring, I bet I'd end up drinking way too much. You're still too young, so you'd never have a, had a hangover, right? That's right. Hangovers at my age are especially rough. That's why before I drink, I always have some of that stuff. Hmm. What was it again? Bloody something or other? Now wait just a minute, Haruka-chan. Are you trying to curse on TV? What kind of language is that for a nice young girl like you to use? You should apologize to our viewers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to curse. I was trying to remember the name of a drink. <laughs> oh, you mean Bloody Mary. Hair of the dog and all that. Nah, that won't work. It will just dehydrate you even more. <laughs> well, folks, it looks like we're just about out of time for today. Thanks for our chat. Thanks for our chat, Haruka-chan. Aw. And now comes everyone's favorite part. It's time for the smile vote. Each one of our audience members has a button in front of them. If they think Haruka-chan has been interesting, they'll press the button and give her a smile. An exclusive Nomu-san cell phone strap. Before the voting begins, why don't you go ahead and say something to the audience? All right. This has been so much fun. I really enjoyed spending time with all of you. I hope you vote for me. Isn't she cute, everybody? I hope you all vote for her, too. Okay, audience. If you thought Haruka-chan was interesting, press that button! Fritz! Yeah! Whoa! Would you look at that? Isn't that great? Thank you very much. Congratulations, Haruka-chan. You win the Nomu Sunstrap. Well, until we meet again, what's that we always say? Love to see you. Smile! Ah! <laughs> God damn it. Ah! Ah! Thank you, everybody. Mm, keep it up next time. Mm, 2000 this time instead of. What is the total amount of XP that I need? 20k from this point. Damn. That's gonna take a long, long time. Hello Haruka-chan, thanks for coming again today. It's your third time on the show, isn't it? I bet you're getting used to it by now. No, I'm still really nervous. Aww. You don't have to be so humble. Anyway, today we thought we'd have you talk a little bit about what it's really what it's really like to be an idol. Hopefully this time around you can, 80, can get 80 smiles or better. I know you can do it. All right, we're about ready to get started. Knock him dead, Haruka-chan. Haruka-chan. Hello and welcome to Love to See You Smile. How is everybody doing today? So so, and how are you sleeping these days? So so, and what's a nice hot drink to have after skating? Coco! With marshmallows, right? 
or whipped cream. You decide. Let's get started then, shall we? Today's guest will be joining us for the third time. She's the incredible singing sensation Haruka Sawamura-chan. Hello, everybody. It's nice to see you all. Haruka-chan, you're so cute. Yeah. And there it is, people. Haruka-chan's famous smile. She just said, how many times does she say thank you very much in one of these episodes? Like 500 times? Okay, today let's delve a little bit into what it's really like to be an idol. So here's a question for you. You're very fit and slim, aren't you? What do you do to stay so slender? I don't really do anything special. I get a lot of exercise with my daily dance lessons, so I don't seem to gain weight no matter how much I eat. Well, aren't you lucky? I wish I could say the same. I'm starting to get a spare tire around the middle. <laughs> What do you think of people who are overweight anyway? I hope they can lose some weight. I hope they can lose some weight. For the sake of their health, I hope they can lose some weight. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just what the doctor says too. Eat less, exercise more, and lead a healthier life. But even when we know we should, it's still hard to do. Yes, but we all have to try for our own sakes. Yeah? If I lose some weight, would you give me some kind of reward? Hmm, no, I don't think so. Ah, <laughs> good answer. Why should you, right? <laughs> now, let's see. This might be a generalization, but people tend to look up to idols. Many people even believe part of the idol's job should be to set a good example. Idols who indulge in underage drinking or smoke take a real beating in the media. Or they might even get sever severely criticized, severely, that's the right pronunciation, you already, criticized for doing something like crossing on a red light. Do you ever feel you're under too much scrutiny? Rules are rules and should be followed. Rules are rules for a reason. As responsible members of society, we should follow them. I never feel like I'm under too much scrutiny. Applause! Applause! What a mature young lady you are. You're absolutely right. Some people might bend the rules if they think nobody's looking, but we're always being judged from high up. Yeah, I was saying the same thing to our assistant director the other day, and then he goes and puts it out on social media that I gave him a big long lecture. <laughs> wow. I tell you, sometimes I feel like I'm under too much scrutiny. <laughs> So now that you've been on the Sokan TV for a few times, what do you what do you do what you do think about all the people starting to recognize you? Hmm. Oh, I'm truly grateful. When I first came up uh, uh, up here from Okinawa, I didn't know if I was going to make it, but now here I am, getting to do such wonderful work. <laughs> and I think you'll continue to get lots and lots of work too. You really think so? So, what are your hopes for the future? Are you hoping to gain ground on the national stage? I want to always stay here in Osaka. The city has been so very kind and supportive. But if you win the Princess League, aren't you supposed to have a national debut? Yes, that's right. So doesn't that mean you're leaving Osaka? <gasps> Don't tell me you just realized this. <laughs> well, folks, it looks like we're just about out of time for today. Thanks for our chat, Haruka-chan. Aw, thank you very much. And now comes everybody's favorite part. It's time to... Time for the smile vote. 80. Thank you, everyone. Thank <laughs> you. ありがとうございます。笑顔で。ありがとうございます。2500 
Oh, I got a gift from a fan. Ugh, stamina nicks. What kind of gift is that? Yordi, 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 why are you being so rude? This fan gifted you something very nice and you just smite it around. <clears throat> okay. Hello, Haruka-chan. Thank you for coming again for time. Just fine. We're going to have to talk about today is what goes on behind the scenes of being an idol. No one really likes talking about that kind of thing. We want to try and get 85 smiles this time. So go out there and win everybody's heart. I'll do my best. And hello, welcome to the love to see you smile. How is everybody doing? So, so. Ah, and how are you sleeping these days? So, so. And what is that flightless bird that's gonna exist? The dodo. <laughs> there we go. And now all is right in the world of love to see you smile. Let's get started then, shall we? Today's guest is joining us for the fourth time. Yeah, Haruka Sawamura chan. Nice to see you all. Oh. Barely timed the button prompt. You're really getting good at this, aren't you? Adorable as ever, right folks? Thank you very much. Okay, today I thought we could talk with Haruka chan about some behind the scenes things in her life as an idol. First off, what time do you start work, or does it depend on the day? When I don't already have work in the morning hours, I try to get to my agency at 8 o'clock. That's when I have my voice and dance lessons. I bet an idol's lessons are pretty rough. What are your teachers like? Do you ever get mad at them for being too tough on you? Yes, I really get furious. Sometimes. Did I tell you I gave up on people? <laughs> Wait, Lizzie, what do you mean? You just you only just now gave up on people? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why they can't be just a little nicer. <laughs> Are you sure you want to say it on TV? They're going to see this, you know. Oops, I guess you're right. <laughs> You'd better smooth things over now while you have the chance. Just say you're kidding. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> So, do you ever do any kind of appreciation, like autographs or handshake events? What's it like to meet the fans up close like that? Although, I guess your fans are nearby right now, aren't they? Arika-chan! Daisuke! <laughs> yes, lol. Well, you held it out fairly long, Lizzie. Would you look at that, she responds to her fans like a real pro. Besides shows like this, when do you get the chance to meet your fans in person? Well, I do have handshake events and things like that, just as you said. Oh, do you do any of the fans ever get overzealous, shall we say? A Tokyo Idol once told me a fan wouldn't let go of her hand and start saying some pretty obscene things. What would you do in that case? Obscene things? Like what? Oh, I don't really know, but probably something like, that's a nice rack you got, or why don't we go get a room? You know how it is. You, really? What else? Hey, now that, enough with this line of questioning. <laughs> You're an idol, so I bet your agency has rules against you dating, right? No, not really. But I'm so busy right now, I don't even have time to think about it. Ah. But you must be popular with the boys at school, right? I know if I was your age, I'd be falling all over myself. You're too kind. When it comes to guys, what's your type anyways? The funny type. <clears throat> Someone who can really make me laugh. Wait a minute, you're talking about me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I had no idea you felt that way about me, Arika-chan. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but my heart belongs to my audience. 
I'm afraid you and I can never be. Please don't take it too hard. Aw, oh, that's alright. She sounds so absolutely heartbroken, folks. <laughs> but looks like we're just about out of time for today. Thanks for our chat, Haruka-chan. Thank you very much. And now comes everybody's favorite part. It's time for the smile vote. Each one of our audience members has blah 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 85 for get clues exclusive phone strap. Yat that fucking do. Why don't you go ahead and say something to the audience? I was really nervous, guys! I had a lot of fun. I still hope you can vote for me. Isn't she cute, everybody? I hope you all vote for her too. Okay, audience, if you thought Haruka Chen was interesting, press the button now. Max score. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Haruka Chan. You win a Nomu strap. Well, until we meet again, what do we always say? Love to see you. Smile! Thank you, everybody. You know how annoying these fucking uh, TV shows sound sometimes? Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, again, 2,500. Agency maxed out. Super nice. <laughs> Appeal and performance can now be raised more effectively. Okay, the last love to see you smile. Ninety smiles, Jesus. All right. Hello and welcome to Love to See You Smile. How is everybody doing today? So-so, ah, and how are you all sleeping these days? So-so, and what's the slang term for a lowrider? Low, low. Haha, <laughs> you're all just too good to me, folks. Thank you for playing along. Ah, the fifth time, the marvelous singing sensation Haruka Salamurachan. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you all. Haruka-chan, kawaii. What a beautiful smile. Your popularity is just shooting through the roof now, isn't it? Thank you very much. Okay, seeing as this is your last day, I thought we could finally talk about the Princess League. As I am sure you all know, the Princess League is a hit show that pits idols against idol. The pressure must be intense. Yes, it is. I get really nervous every single time. That's because it's win or go home, right? isn't it? I bet there is a lot of tension and drama between you and your opponents backstage. Do you ever get picked on by other contestants on the show? No, never. We all just try to play fair and do our best, that's it. Are you sure? No thumbtacks on your chair or ripped outfits or anything? No, nothing like that. Okay, so you don't get picked on. Does that mean you're the one harassing everybody else? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> when you're on Princess League, your fans are pretty close, aren't they? Hey, kind of like they are now. Here's the audience. Haruka chan, you're so cute. <laughs> They're just saying the same thing over and over again and then yell Haruka chan again. Yeah. See that? You're the pro at this now. You are a pro at this now, Jesus. Thank you very much. The Princess League audience members get pretty wild with enthusiasm, don't they? 
Oh yes, it really encourages me to keep going and give them a great show. I bet the audience are much smaller when you're not performing on TV. Does that kind of thing make it harder for you to do your best? I always try to give it everything I've got. When I'm on stage, I always try to give it everything I've got. The number of guests doesn't affect my motivation. Really? But doesn't the smaller audience at least take some of the pressure off? Not at all. I still try my absolute best. Hi. Okay, okay. I see you aren't going to budge. You know, when I think of the Princess League, T-sets are the idols that first come to mind. What are they really like? What do you mean? Well, when we see them on TV, they look so outgoing and flamboyant. But as your rivals on the Princess League, what are they like when you meet them backstage? They're pretty aggressive towards me. Pretty aggressive towards me. Hold on, are you really sure you want to say that on there? That comment could get you in trouble later, you know? That's all you have to say? <laughs> Well, folks, it looks like we're just about out of time today. Thanks for our chat, Haruka Chan. Thank you very much. The vote, each blah blah, 90 smiles, something to say. Grateful for all the times we had together. Who is that button? Oh, you did, Haruka. You managed to break 90 smiles. Congratulations, Haruka-chan. You win the Nomu strap. Okay, Haruka-chan, before we say goodbye, we'd like to uh, like you to invite a friend to be our next guest here on the show. Who would you like to invite? Let's see. I'd like to invite P-Set, T-Set, T-Pet Girl. <laughs> T-Set Girls. All right, you heard it, folks. Our guest next time will be the girls of T-Set. Erica Chan, thank you for coming on our show. And five times at that. Jeez, am I glad this one is over. It took way too long. Thank you, Haruka-chan, and that does it for all five segments. Thank you so much for having me on the show. You did an outstanding job. I'd say that was a big success both for you and love of to see you smile. Three K points. Okay, let me actually go and save, because I... If anything crashes, I don't want to ever do that one again. Ooh. Okay, quiz. Sotenbori Love Check Quiz. Hello, Sarumiro san. Thank you for coming. Hello, thank you very much for having me. You're free to do anything you want till recording starts. All right, thank you. Should I do? Should I make sure I understand how the show works going to work? Yeah, let's. Because the last time I did this was like when we did Haruka Story, which is quite a while ago. Uh, press. To hold up the O sign and the X sign. X sign is false, O is correct. Yeah, okay. That's all I need to know. Are you ready? Sultanbori love you check. Oh, 
Welcome back. You were tripping over your words a bit the first time you were on. How are you feeling this time? Fine. A little nervous, maybe? Yes. Ah, keep your answer short, huh? Are you afraid you might trip over your words again? Yes, that's right. <laughs> I can see you're a very cautious person. Is that bad? On the contrary, I think it's a great quality. Anyway, let's get started. Sotenbori love check quiz begin! True! Yukata! False! Ashitama Park! False! Only one M store! Yeah, that's also false. I'm not good with timed things, guys. I just have the answers right here. Just like before. <laughs> Chairman of Sotenbori Merchants Association is Mr. Uta. True or false? With the bobbed haircut is Azusa. That is true. Popular Okonomiyaki restaurant. Eh. Oh, Tsuhashi Fugetsu. Toko takoyaki shop. Magutako. Popular Sunbury Street competition is called Dance Battles. The Yoku Body Golf Center or. Mm, yeah, cool center. Okay. You are correct. I'm sorry, Mirosan. Let's see how you did. 10 out of 10. It's because Jordi's a dirty cheater and has the guide open right here. You got all 10 questions correct. I did it. 30k yen. Yay! Only 2k experience points. Not so yay. I need more experience points. Okay, the hard doom. Uh, we now know how it works, so we don't have to bother. We'll start soon. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Where are you looking at, Haruka? Bar in Sotenbori. Sotenbori, If I call you by your first name, I wouldn't mind it at all. All right, in that case, I will. Are you ready for today's quiz, Sawamura-san? Yes, but I think you forgot to call me by my first name. <laughs> so I did. I guess old habits die hard. Anyway, let's get started. Quizzes starto. Quizzes starto. Style bar. Ben ten. Twelve piece takoyaki is false. Over ten K yen is correct. Balls, it eases in Camarucho. Taxi stand, four places. Uh, 
Dulce coming out. It's a triangle. Yellow sign. Muscle beard. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Dun, dun, dun. Got all 10 questions correct. More money! Let me turn the light on. <clears throat> turn the lights off. Turn the lights on. There's still so many more quests to do, bro. Bro. Because, Zoli, people are butts. See, you're saying that incorrectly. You gotta call it buttholes or assholes or dickheads. <laughs> so you haven't lived in Sonobari very long. Now is a good chance to get more questions correct. I'll do my best. Very good. Let's get started. Sotobori love check quiz begin. All of the above. Oh crap. Uh, first one was false. This is true. Oops, wrong button. F. Press the wrong button. Uh, this one is false. Cheating. Obviously I'm cheating. Uh, red. With the guide. I'm not gonna waste my time thinking here. It's already hard enough. Fig leaves. Gamma! Eighty-one is the country code of Japan. United Nations. I don't even read the question anymore, Lizzie. What are people expecting of me that I can read so fast? <laughs> Nagasugai is the next answer. I only have 10 seconds, by the way, to read the entire question and read the answers correctly. Do I look like I have the brain speed for that? Excuses, says Lizzie then. Only 10k this time, so sad. And 2,100 points of experience, even sadder. The sadness is real. Okay, last one of the quizzes. Don't have to worry too much about it anymore then. Everything else is interviews, concerts, handshake events. Those are fairly easy. Hello, Samira-san. Thank you for coming. Hello, thank you very much for having me. You're free to do anything you want until recording starts. We already read all this. Huh? Huh? What do you mean, Zillar? Huh? 
I miss out on so much because I have to make food for everyone in this house. Fuck my life. Wait, Zillar, don't you live on your own, though? Crazy log, that is false. This is also false. A simiao. Richard the Third, false. Shakespeare, Hamlet. There is such a thing as both Turkey Vulture and Turkey, Flam Turkey Flamingo. That is false. In English history, the Victorian era was longer than the Edwardian era. True. I have no idea. See, all these questions would be like uh, insane. They say starts that in what year? 1989. Hanako! Sushi chain is on my. Memory on the Dreamcast. The visual memory unit. I can't afford living on my own when living costs here are like 10 times of what they are in the Netherlands. Jesus Christ. Okay. Pin questions. Whoopsie fucking do. That is a lot, though. Magazine handshake event! It's probably not ten times. Well, then don't say it's ten times, Baka! But everything is skyrocketed. Saomura-san is here! Hello, everyone. I'm Haruka Saomura. Thank you for having me here today. Ah, Saomura-san, thank you for coming. That article we did on you was a real hit, so we decided to organize this handshake event for our readers. Great, lots of guests have already lined up outside. Shall we get started? Let's go. You already know what goes on in handshake events. Yes, I'm all set. Hi. Exaggerating to make a point. Exaggerating to make a point is bad to make the point, if you ask me. But, uh, you know, I'm just a random guy on the internet. <laughs> I buy all your merch. Oh. Fucked over by so much. もう<笑> 
サンワラムアクラです笑顔はいいねありがとうございますありがとうございます Damn. That was so much fun, Sawamura san. That was great. The handshake event was a huge success. Good. Definitely have to write a feature about this. I'm sure the fans will love it. I hope so. Hi. Till next time. Only 900 experience points! You greedy bastards! Uh, but yeah, I can understand that, Auxilar. I don't say it that often, but I do really like appreciate the Netherlands for what it allows me to uh, do. So, um, yeah. It's pretty much also the only reason that I, uh, like, stay in the Netherlands, to be honest. Oh, oops. That was not what I wanted to do. It's pretty much also not very doable for me to live anywhere else. Jesus, why are there so many otaku at the moment? Why is the bodyguard going so aggressively right now? Only 800 experience points, you bitch! <laughs> Soton Town Haruka Mini Concerts, normal. Oh, hello, it's very nice to meet you. I'm the director of this event. Hi. Dance, dance. 10 more minutes. Okay, the show's gonna start. Hi. I'll let you get ready. No, we don't need to get over the event.
Arigato! That was incredible, an encore and everything. I could hardly believe it myself, the crowd was fantastic. It was all thanks to your stellar performance, you were on fire. Only 900 experience points, you little bitches! Give me more experience points! So we just on this here. Another event again. Okay, different song this time. Jesus, I played the song perfectly! Max combo and max trade rating. Talk about perfect. Whew. That was a little bit tense though, I'm not gonna lie. Salmira san! That was incredible! Blah blah blue! Yay, we gotta level up, boy! Jesus. That actually made me a little bit nervous. Okay, we want this one, right? Yeah, that's the first one we're gonna get. Message from fans. Always comes to cheer me on, how nice. Thank you everyone, your kind words help me work harder. Gripping this poster filled with messages from fans allows your idle heat to last even longer. Oh. Hell yeah. I need to save. Okay, Southern Town Haruka Jazz Dansu. Hello, thank you very much for inviting me here today. So, Mirasan, hello! Sorry to spring this on you right away, but I'm afraid the director isn't here yet. Does that mean the event's off? No, actually, we need you to go on as soon as possible. The guests are already here. 
So, as soon as you're ready to go and get up there, thank you. Well, okay then. What now? Should I go over the event? No. Just need to boot the boss! As they uh, like to say, or as I like to call it. Listen, this entire song does not sound like jazz whatsoever. Easy clap. Laziness. Wait, <laughs> that's not a good enough reason, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I got stuck in traffic. How did everything go? Hey, aren't those the premium chocolates from that famous shop? The ones that are always sold out? <laughs> I'm pretty resourceful, you know. They weren't all that hard to get for me. Oh, I'm impressed. They look so yummy. Wait a minute. I wonder if waiting in line for those chocolates was what made him late. Please take them home and enjoy your, your leisure. All right. Thank you very much. Chocolates from a famous shop. What a great day this turned out to be. Okay. Uh, next up is interviews. Kiss Kiss Interview, Trendy Idol, Achievement Unlocked. Let's see what Yamaura-san's memo says. Kiss Kiss is the fashion magazine aimed for at preteens and teens. The interviewer will be at Kotani-san. She's an old and married career woman. She's nice enough, but is very particular about professionalism. The interview will consist of questions from readers asking for advice. These will mostly be about love and relationships. For this kind of interview, it's also important to make a favorable impression on the interviewer. Their expression will, with you will affect the tone of the article they write. Okay, so this is what I have to keep in mind for the interview. I have to be relatable to pre-teens and teen girls. And Kotani-san is very particular about professionalism. All right, got it. Hello, I'm here for an interview with Haruka-chan. Oh, the interviewer is here. Hello, I'm Kotani from Kiss Kiss. It's very nice to meet you, Haruka-chan. You as well, thank you very much for coming. I imagine your manager has already explained everything to you. You are aware of what today's interview is about. Relationship advice for readers. I was told it would be questions from readers asking for relationship advice. Yes, good. So you are prepared. 
Now then, girls from middle school and high school have written in asking for your advice on their relationship troubles. Just answer the way you think is best, all right? And remember, our reader will be able to take heart if they see that even a cute idol like yourself has been through some of the same things they have. Now, on the question... On to the questions. Remember, these are middle school and high school aged girls like you, so just answer the way you normally would. All right. Okay, here we go. The first question is from Mina-chan in Tokyo. She's a middle school student. She writes, my friend and I both like the same guy. What would you do if you were in my shoes? I would let my friend have him. I would give up and let my friend have him. Friendship is more important to me than romance. But what if you really, really like this boy? And do friendship last all that long anyway? Who knows, this relationship could even lead to marriage. Maybe, but I still couldn't betray my friend. That just wouldn't be me. I see. But if, you're, uh, but if you keep choosing friendship over romance, you might miss your chance to ever get married at all, like I did. But you're still young, Kotani-san. You have plenty of time. <laughs> well, aren't you sweet? I think I might be becoming a new fan of yours. Anyway, here's the next question from Airi chan in Gifu Prefecture. My boyfriend is shy. We've been going out for six months, but we've still never kissed. Some of my friends have gone further in less time. What should I do? You should kiss him. Just kiss him! You should be the one to kiss him. If he's shy, there's no telling how long you'll have to wait before he does. Oh my, you're quite bold, aren't you, Haruka chan I just believe that if you want something to happen, sometimes the best thing to do is to make it happen yourself. Hmm, I like your way of thinking. It's very refreshing. But doesn't it take a lot of courage for a girl to make a first move? Maybe so. Sometimes a girl just needs to be brave. That's a pretty brazen thing for an idol to say. I imagine the reaction will be mixed, but I'll try to give it a favorable slant. All right, here's the last question. It's a pretty serious one. It's from Apple-chan in... Tochigi Prefecture, Apple-chan. My friend has been seeing her teacher who is married with children. I keep telling her she should break it off with him, but she won't, just won't listen. I keep telling her to stop seeing him. If you care about your friend, the only thing you can do is keep telling her to stop seeing him. No one wins in that kind of relationship, yes. But the friend's obviously thinking with her heart and not her head. You think she'll take heed? Plus, she might not have even known he was married until after she had already fallen in love with him. Now she just can't bear to leave. Maybe, but once she does know, she has to break up with him. That kind of relationship will only bring pain to everyone involved. Well, aren't you the moral one? But your answer does make a lot of sense. It's that I'm going for the right answers for most XP and other stuff. Otherwise, would she tell someone about it? Ha! I, I hate cheaters. Suffer. Dumbasses. Especially with... Nah, not, let's not get into that. Maybe I should break up with my man too. Hmm, sorry? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Right. Alright, that concludes our interview. Thank you for your time, Haruka-chan. Your sincerity really shone through. I think our readers will love you. Thank you very much for today. I hope we can do this again sometime. Thank you very much for the opportunity. 150. At that point, I'd let them starve. Yeah, I agree with Lizzie. If it's laziness, go fucking do it. Just, just make food for yourself. Just let them starve. You're not the bitch around here. If not, I ain't cooking shit. <laughs> I hope you're never cooking shit, Lizzie. Never, ever, ever. <sighs> Seeing to me. Been making burgers because I bought too much bread. Lol. Let's see what Yamaru-san's memo says. TV Smash is a magazine about television shows and personalities. It aims towards the casual reader, so it's primarily focused on things like idols, hobbies, and personal preferences. The interviewer will be Karubesan. He's pretty aggressive and will likely attempt to get rice out of you. Just try to keep it cool. If he likes you, 
if he likes you, he'll write a great article. So try to win him over, okay? The topic of this interview will be the Prince League, okay? All right, got it. Hello, I'm for the interview. Oh, the interview is here. The interviewer. So I prep them, my barda cooks them, and he cleans up. Nice. Hello, I'm Karibe from TV Smash. Nice to meet you. Hello, thank you very much for coming. Sure, now let's start today's interview. Let's see, uh-oh, what was I going to ask you today about the Princess League? I was told it was going to be about the Princess League. Oh yes, that's right, the Princess League. So your manager did prepare you. Yes, of course. That's great, this agency is pretty small, so I was a little worried to be honest. But it looks like they prepped their talent well. Well, let's get right to it, shall we? So, what do you think about the Prince League system? Hmm, sorry? I mean, it must be great for unknown talent like you. You can get your face on TV even without much proven experience. Plus, the station can produce a profitable TV show without having to pay its talent very much. Win-win, right? But on the other hand, the level of talent is often hit or miss. Don't you think that lowers the overall quality of this type of program? So, taking all that into consideration, the Princess League system... Is the Princess League system really all that great? It's a great chance for girls to compete. Well, the wonderful thing about the Princess League is that it gives girls a chance to compete and truly try their very hardest at something worthwhile. Are you saying that you don't care if the viewers have to watch low-quality performance? Not at all. I don't feel the quality of my own performance is low. And I believe all of the contenders train hard and do their absolute best. I see. Well, I have to agree. When I saw you perform, I really thought you had something special. And I could tell that you'd been through some pretty grueling training. I guess if the system produced performers like you, it must have some merit. Well, moving on, there's another problem I see with Prince's League system. Performances are rated by the studio's audience voting. That's a pretty vague criteria, don't you think? Can singing and dancing really evaluate be evaluated with a numerical score? I think the scoring system is fair. I think the scoring system is fair. Performance vary in quality, and I think the score reflects that pretty accurately. The performance can be technically skilled, but it isn't always what appeals to an audience. Sometimes the value of performance goes beyond technique, wouldn't you agree? Of course, but the scores are the votes of each audience member, and I think they reflect how much the performance touches their heart individually. So I don't believe the Princess League scores are based on technique alone. You've got a point there. Hmm, that's a pretty good answer, actually. So that brings us to my last question. Now. To tell you the truth, I used to be a huge fan of a certain idol named Mirei Park. Oh, you were Park Sun's fan? That's right. And I know you were her favorite. So let me ask you this. Do you believe you will surpass her one day? I don't think she and I can be compared. Mm. She and I can be compared. We each have our own individual paths, so it's not about who surpasses whom. I guess you have a point. But you know, as Park Sun's favorite, I'll definitely be rooting for you. You will? Oh yes, I've been watching you, even outside the scope of my work. I'll be looking forward to seeing where your career takes you. Anyways, that concludes our interview. I want to apologize to you. I know I was pretty harsh at times. Oh, it's just my interviewing style. Yeah, I find that being harsh and aggressive elicits more heartfelt response than being friendly does. I hope you can forgive me if I was too hard on you. No, that's all right. My manager warned me in advance that your questions would be like that. Really? Hmm. It kind of defeats the whole purpose if you know about it had ahead of time. <laughs> Nevertheless, you really gave me some great material. I had high hopes for you, and you didn't disappoint. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks for today. Of course, thank you very much for coming. I used to be the dumb dumb who would help and cook and clean and do everything after my mom passed to make everything feel a bit normal, but not anymore. And guess what? When I left for the week, they didn't die. They all survived. Yeah, don't compare us. We're better than her. <laughs> no, that's not what we were doing. <laughs> that's the point. Not to... Yari yari does he. Sure, Yordi. Yeah, Lizzie. Sure. 
Oi, 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 oi. Let's see what Yamaru-san memo says. Beginner is a magazine that provides uh, audition information and leads on how to become a model TV personality or voice actor. Oops, I skipped something. The interviewer will be Asano-san. She apparently brand new to this, so I don't know how smoothly it will go. She sure gung-ho, though. The interview will be about how you became an idol. I don't think she'll delve into your past too deeply, but you have to com uh, you have a complicated family, family history. Make sure to tread carefully, okay? Idol, target, girls, want to become famous! All right, got it. Hello, I'm here for an interview. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, the interviewer is here. I am so sure of myself. That is such a fat ass lie, by the way. I'm never sure of myself. Hello, I'm Asano from Beginner. Nice to from Beginner. Nice to meet you, Haruka-chan. Hello, thank you very much for coming. Now, let's see. Has your manager already told you what today's interview will be about? How I became an idol. I was told it would be about how I became an idol. Yes, that's right. Many of our readers are girls who dream of being famous one day. So your story can give them the hope they need to keep going. That sounds wonderful. Great. And I'm so glad you've already been prepared. That should make things a lot more go a lot more smoothly. Smo smoothie? Sure, smoothie. Okay, let's start. Now, I heard that you were scouted out in Okinawa. Is this right? They say you were just out shopping when somebody suddenly came up to you with an offer. So what's your secret? Do you have any tips for us on how to get noticed like you did? Just act natural. I think it's best. the best thing to do is just to be yourself and act natural. Act natural. If you go overboard trying to catch the eye of a scout, it might look strange. I see. I guess there really isn't any foolproof trick to getting noticed, huh? I was only discovered by the president of my agency by chance. I guess I had just luck and being in the right place at the right time. I'm sure our readers would have loved to hear there was some kind of trick to it. But I guess it's what it is. Maybe if you have a certain something, it shows even when you're just being yourself. Alright, moving on. What was the very first job you had after becoming an idol? And I don't mean dance lessons or anything like that. I mean real paying gig. Hmm. If I recall, it was being a guest assistant on a TV show. It was part of the promotion for the Princess League. What kind of things does a TV show assistant do? I held signs and posters towards the camera. I basically just stood there and said nothing. Seeing as you were already an idol, didn't you find that sort of thing a little humiliating? It's exciting. I was just happy to be on TV. I never thought anything like that would ever happen to me. <laughs> I can imagine. I think if I had a chance to be on TV, I'd grab it no matter what it was. Now that you're getting so much attention on Princess League, it's hard to believe there was ever a time like that for you. Oh, there absolutely was. Must be so exciting to be an idol. I'm a little jealous. All right, this next one is my last question. Do you have any regrets about becoming famous? Hmm. Well, the more famous you become, the harder it is to just be a regular girl, right? You're probably discouraged from having romantic relationships, and people must recognize you wherever you go. With these negative side, effect side effects, would you still recommend trying to become famous to our readers? You can worry about that after you get famous. We have, after this one, two more. You can worry about that after you get famous. If you try to think too far ahead, you might lose focus on what you should be doing now. Ooh, that's right. Instead of just dreaming, it's important to try and move forward to make that dream come true. Is that it? Yes, I believe that's right. <laughs> well, it's definitely more convincing when you say it, Haruka-chan. All right, that's the end of the interview. Thank you very much much for your time. It looks like I made the right choice. Hmm? My editor told me to go out and get an interview with one of my favorite idols. And then I saw you on Princess League and instantly became a fan. You did? How nice. <laughs> and now that I've met you in person, you're just what I imagined. I guess I got a good eye, right? Hmm. Well, thank you again. Remember, I'll be rooting for you. Best of luck. Thank you so much. We technically already beat the Princess League. We won, but who the fuck cares, right?
Umaku, Umiti, Kayei, something like that. Okay, next. Interview with sensual gentleman. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that's the magazine's name. Sensual gentleman. Let's see what Yamaru san Samo says. Sensual Gentleman is a men's magazine that covers racy topics, but not considered particularly vulgar. Most of the readers are men in their 30s and 40s. Magazines like these are probably their only source of information on idols. It'd be terrific if you could win this segment of the market over. So do your best. The interviewer will be Misuguchi-san. He can be a little inappropriate at times, but the interview shouldn't last long, so hang in there. The topic of the interview is advice for middle-aged men on how to be popular with younger women. That's what they should do, what they should do to get their attention, things like that. Okay. That sounds like a terrible fucking... Uh, middle-aged men should not try and get younger ladies their attentions, yo. Just saying. Anyways, let's just uh, leave that at that. Is this a Yakuza game? <laughs> okay, so this is what I have to keep in mind for the interview. The interview is going to be about how middle-aged men can be popular with young women. The readers are mostly men in their 30s and 40s, so I should try to make my answers appeal to that audience. All right, got it. Hello, is everything ready for today's interview? Oh, the interviewer is here. Oh, oh. Hey there, I'm Misuguchi from Sensual Gentleman. Very nice to meet you, Haruka-chan. Thank you very much for coming. He looks creepy. <laughs> oh boy, an interview with a young new idol. I've been looking forward to this one, alright. You sure are a cute little thing, aren't you? Um, thank you? No trouble, no trouble. So, about the interview, have you been told what it's about? How to be popular with young women. Imagine being called middle-aged when you're in your dirty 30s. I mean, <laughs> soon. <laughs> I was told it would be about how middle-aged men could be popular with young women. I'm about to be middle-aged. <laughs> yep, that's it in a nutshell. Can't beat hearing it directly from the horse's mouth. Or in this case, a cute young idol, am I right? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Of course I'm right, trust me. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. Okay. Let's get going then. Question one. Is your eyes what... In your eyes, what age do you consider to be a middle-aged man? 35 to 50. I want to get your definition. When you think of a middle-aged man, about how old is he? Between 35 and 50. Let's say anywhere between 35 and 50 is middle-aged. Mm, yeah? So you think a guy in his early 30s is still young, huh? Bro, I think uh, people in their 30s are still young. Once you're 50, it's over. That's when the middle age shit starts. You need to stop uh, doing crazy stuff. Well, with a liberal view like that on men's age, I think this interview is gonna go great. Can't wait to see what else you have to say. Okay, next question. Let's imagine for a minute that you're over 18 and there's an older man you like. So he asks you out on a late night date. Where'd you like to go? Mm, late night date, you say? Yeah, the older men work during the daytime. Besides, guys might get some dirty looks if they're out with a younger woman during the day. See, this, this is the entire problem. Why, why would you, I'm not even gonna bother. And they're adults after all, so of course they wanna go as far as they can, if possible. Hmm, I see. So what destination would you make, would make you say yes to a date? A private karaoke room. I like to sing, so a private karaoke room. Well, but as a young lady, wouldn't you be a little worried? I mean, it is a private room and all. What if he suddenly makes a move? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Of course, I'd never do anything like that. I can tell you one thing, though. I bet our readers are gonna like that answer of yours. Now, for the last question of the interview. If you were over 18, do you think you would 
ever consider having sex with a middle-aged man? This is... this is... what? <laughs> if he makes a move, Kiryu-chan will kill him! This is... like... I... <laughs> These questions, I I question these questions, bruh. Hey, it's the last question and all, so I thought, what the heck? It'd be a great way to end the article, too. So, what do you think? Would you have sex with a middle-aged man if I was in love with him? Not really sure, but I think maybe if I was in love with him? Seriously? Whoa, boy, am I glad I asked. This will be great. Thanks a bunch for that juicy nugget. Well, that's just about wraps it up. Thanks for being so patient, and I'm sorry for asking you such inappropriate questions. I'm so uncomfortable with these questions. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. I understand you were doing your job. I can see why you're so popular. You've got a new fan in me. I'm rooting for you. Thanks for your time. I hope we can do another few interviews some soon. <sighs> of course, thank you very much for coming. Ugh. I mean, they're asking Haruka, who's, what, 17? 16 Like that's just weird <laughs> Just like hypothetically speaking if you were over 18 like if this was on Twitter The Twitter crowd would go like what throw him in jail. What the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, okay enough about that Gossip Gals. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's see what Yama Yamaura-san's memo says. Gossip Gals is a fairly hard-hitting gossip magazine. I didn't know this until after I accepted the interview, but the editorial department of Gossip Gals is in good with Osaka talent. They might try to talk teeny sets up and put you down, so watch out for that kind of thing. The interviewer will be Masuda-san. He refers to himself as creepy, but in a cute way. He refers to himself as creepy, but in a cute way. When someone refers to himself as that, that means he is just creepy. Okay. For Harvest Ally, I took one of the chapters, it was chapter 3A, 3B, 3C, so I went with 3C first, and I was like, shit, this is hard. <laughs> Probably because it's C, apparently that was last, <laughs> lol, <laughs> GG Lizzie. The interview will be about your relationship with friends and any feuds you have going with rivals. Be very careful not to badmouth anyone. They'll twist your words and your image will be tarnished. Okay. So have to keep in mind. Friends and rivals. Be sure not to badmouth anyone. Alright, got it. Phew. Finally made it. I'm here for the interview. And it was a piece of cake, lol. <laughs> so I went and did 3A. Oh, is that the interviewer? I did 3C, 3B, 3A, lol. Bad mouth them all. No, he wants as much experience and money as possible, okay. Hello, I'm Asuda from Gossip Gals. You ready for this? I think so. Thank you very much for coming. Hmm. You are much more reserved than I expected. After seeing you on TV, I thought you'd be... You'd have more of a charismatic aura. Hmm. Um, anyway, let's go on with it, shall we? Have you already been told what today's interview is going on about my relationship with friends? I was told it would be about my relationship with friends. Yep, that's it, and more importantly, I want to know about your rivals. I see. Our readers really love the juicy stuff. You know, backstabbing, badmouthing, the nastier the better, I always say. Well, I'm very sorry to disappoint you, but I don't have anything like that for you. Aw, oh, come on. Let your guard down a little, won't you? Well, on the good stuff, on to the good stuff. First off, let me ask you about the Princess League. You've been pretty much crushing the competition, haven't you? Even to the untrained eye like mine, it's easy to see your head and shoulders above the rest. Given your superior talent, what do you think of all those girls who just aren't on your level? Mm. 
I don't think they're I'm better than anyone else. Mm. We're better than everyone else. <laughs> no, we're not. They're to be destroyed! Look, 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 even Sasuke and Naruto, who are rivals to be to the bone, want to destroy each other. Yeah, they want to destroy each other's buttholes, that's what they want to do, Jesus. Uh, I mean, what? They're all good competition. You've been winning against every single one of them, right? Doesn't that mean you're too good for them? We're all giving it everything we have in its competition. Each performance is won or lost by very slim margins. Hmm. What a carefully worded answer. You know, I think your manager warned you not to say what you really think. It kind of defeats the point, actually. I hope you'll be a little more forthcoming the rest of this interview. Now, let's talk about T-Set of Osaka Talent. You do know who they are, don't you? Yes, I do. They used to belong to Dinochair, you know. But then they decide to jump ship for Osaka Talent. Must leave a bad taste in your mouth, wouldn't you say? So in the light of all that, what do you think about T-Set being called the number one idols in Osaka right now? It doesn't really bother me. Sasuke! Oh my god, this is too cute. Is that a new emote you stole from somewhere, uh, Lizzie? After all, it's not like we both belong to Dinah Chair at the same time. And I'm sure my agency was of the mindset that they were free to go as they pleased. You're kidding, right? Dinah Chair must have sunk a lot of money into getting them ready for their debut. That was the sting. That has the sting, I can read. If I were the president of Dinah Chair, I'd be hoping for their downfall right about now. Well, that's not the way we think. Hmm. If you say so, but it doesn't make for an interesting interview. Okay, last question. I was told by T-Set's manager that Dinah Chair and T-Set got into a little tussle. Is that true? What? Oh, you don't know? A manager of yours named Hori grabbed one of T-Set's girl's arms and screamed at her. You were apparently right there when it happened. With rumors like this flying around, people are starting to say Dinah Chair is using you as a weapon of vengeance against Osaka talent. Were you aware of this growing sentiment? Dinah Chair isn't seeking revenge. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> I'm gonna respond to that in a bit. Dinah Chair isn't seeking revenge. We have a healthy rivalry and it's purely friendly. Hmm. So you're saying that Horisan didn't get into an argument with T-Set? He did, but it had nothing to do with revenge. It was just a minor workplace disagreement and nothing, and not something worth, publis worth publicizing. Ugh, you're not giving me much to write about, you know? I'm just answering your questions truthfully. Hmm. You're a lot tougher than they say. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the interview. To be honest, I didn't get close to what I was after. What you were after? I was looking for something to tarnish your image with, of course. You know the saying, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down? I won't say who, but certain people want to see you brought down a peg or two. They asked me to write an article with that in mind. But you stood firm, didn't give me a single opening. Looks like you win, kid. Hmm. I hope you'll give me a chance to interview you again without any funny business this time. Anyhow, I think you just gained yourself a brand new fan. I'll be going now. <laughs> okay, um... No, I, I, I disagree with you, Zillar. He is a rival magnet, but there's a difference between rivals and enemies. Like... Grim Joe ends up becoming a rival, uh, but Ulikura, for example, is an enemy. Uh, then we have Renji that kind of starts as an enemy, but is actually more of a rival. Uh, who else? Uryu, friends slash rivals. Mm, who else do we have? Well, yeah, no. Byakuya is not a rival. That would mean that, that if Byakuya was actually a rival, Byakuya would see Ichigo as a rival. He would literally go out of his way to get the better on Ichigo. Nah, 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 nah. Byakuya, Byakuya is not a rival. He was uh, a pillar in the way 
at some point, but not not a rival, not a rival. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> because Ichigo is like, you are my rival. I need you to get your to your level. And Byakuya is like, try me, pleb. Yeah, but Ichigo literally surpasses Byakuya after this after the entire Soul Society arc. What do you mean? After that, Byakuya doesn't give a shit that he surpassed him. He doesn't care. Mother ducking nerds. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I, dis I disagree. Uh, I disagree with you, Zillart. Ichigo does have a lot of more rivals than your typical uh, Naruto, but... Yes, and then Byakuya is like, fuck me, Ichigo is strong, I need to get stronger, but in the beautiful- No, that's not- that's not it. <laughs> Definitely not. Hi. Definitely not. I am 100% disagreeing with you here. 100 fucking 50,000%. I'm disagreeing. I also, no. Nah. I don't agree. I don't agree, Zillar. <laughs> what about original One Punch Look Man, whatever his name is? Baldy? One Punch Look Man? Who the fuck is One Punch Look Man? You mean, uh... <laughs> uh, fucking hell, what is his name? The one in Kenpachi Squad. Nah, also, well, maybe a little bit, but not as much. Ichigo has a lot of rivals. Freaking out because you already agreed with me on one thing. Ichigo has a lot of rivals. That is... I'm not gonna lie, Ichigo has a lot more rivals than typical shonen anime have. <laughs> That's, that is... I'm not gonna disagree on that one. I'm definitely not disagreeing on that. I give you my uh, full accepting uh, things agreement on that one. Like, fuck's sake, he even rivals himself at one point. <laughs> Ichigo and Rukia, ooh, ooh. No, I don't like that ship. ship. I, no, I'm, I'm totally Ichigo Orehime ship. I Ichigo and Yoru Ichi Hell, bro? So it's okay for a middle-aged ancient ass woman to go after a young guy and uh, not the... Uh, okay, yeah, sure, double standards today, right, guys? Thank you. 
グッズ買ったよありがとうございます I know you had a big crush on her, Luo. <laughs> They have already been naked together. I just want to flash tap for the same. Who doesn't just want to flash tap for fuck's sake? <laughs> just shimpo all around the place. <laughs> And yes, true, Lizzie, I did have a big crush on Orihime. To have a cool Zanpakuto as well. I remember when I used to join uh, RP uh, role playing forums and I made my own Zanpakuto and everything. I should make my own Zanpakuto again. Like, I already made my own fucking Keyblade and a Digimon. I should make my own Zanpakuto, this time a little bit better and even more broken. Because if it's not broken, it's not good enough. <sighs> I want to have one that just enables me to slide around like a penguin on any surface. <laughs> do you want to actually slide around on your belly or do you... Uh... Uh, do you uh, want to just slide? So the other day, my friend gifted me PJ's pajamas. Pajamas? Penguins on them. You have Zillar on your pajamas? Zillar is jealous. Penguins on them? <laughs> Sawamura Haruka des. Ano, ano, ano. Please take a pic and show me. I'm touching her. Oh my god, I'm touching her. When I do laundry lol. いいね、おいしな。ありがとうございます。よしだな。よろしくお願いします。目がキラキラする。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。早く会いたいよ。爆裂感謝。そんなことないですよ。<笑> These creepy otakus sniffing their hands. <laughs> I, I literally do not know what it's like to be that big of a fan. Like, I don't even think I would get to the normal level of fandom. I seriously don't understand it. I would be the fan that stands that stands back and is like, "Whoa, I got to see them." <laughs> That's enough for me. Like, <laughs> I would be a fan. <laughs> uh, smooth, Ziller, smooth. I would be the fan that blows wind in your face. <laughs> um. You know, Zillar, if you uh, want a sliding ice Zompakto, I have the perfect design idea. At least for uh, a Shinkai. I 
really wants a OP or even a powerful Zanpakuto, though. No, no, this is, this is perfect. Exactly perfect. It's just a shield that's slightly bent like this, and you can jump on it and slide all over the place because it makes ice underneath it, and you can only hit people in the face with it. That's it. Perfect Zanpakuto for Zillar. <laughs> La -da -da -da. Had someone on the phone. She was way too energetic. Oh no, we aren't popular anymore. We do free shows on the street now. That's to become even more popular. Seplar! <clears throat> we already reached the max amount of fans. Funny. How is Seplar today?
already done with song. Damn. <clears throat> Even getting paid for this. We are getting paid for this. I just need to go to the convenience store and to the ATM. I'm good. Head to therapy session today. Last from the series of getting to know. I see. I see, Seppi. <laughs> you just want to seduce me. No, no, Sep. She just wants to analyze you. <laughs> I analyze you are a man with men things. <laughs> Good at getting to the root of my problems, though. <laughs> Your problems! <laughs> well, good, Lizzie. As long as you're good at getting to the root of your problems. Perfect. I know why I don't like being a bother to people, because you don't like being bothered yourself. I like to do everything myself and not ask for help.
Oops. Press too fast. It's because growing up my up my mom took care of my brother a lot and I knew he needed more attention than me so I just learned to not be a burden. I didn't want to add to their stress so I basically grew up from a young age. I was very independent. Liz, you can count on Seppi. It's kind of far but you know. Do we have to say the thing again? Lizzie, strong, independent woman. That one. But Lizzie just filled in a stereotype that I just read about like five days ago. Need a small lawn of a million dollars loan. I can do lawn. <laughs> like, cut it. <laughs> With a scissor. With scissors? Would you cut a lawn with scissors, Sep? What stereotype? Let me actually do this one and I'll uh, say the stereotype. That women that had the typical uh, growing up, like uh, you did, Lizzie, tend to have the a strong, independent woman shtick. That's the stereotype. You happy? I explained. Hey, hey, we did all the quests for Haruka now. Almost all the quests. There's still one more thing to do. <sighs> but I am weak. So truth, so truth. It's 
Alright, telephone room. Completion office. Harka side stories, sub stories. We're not gonna pick these up actually with Harka, because we are gonna go check what they are though. Lizzie, god damn it. <laughs> I'm at work. <laughs> I'm at work. <laughs> I said that women with the typical growing up childhood that you had were usually grow up like I'm strong independent woman kind of thing. You happy now? I explained again for the fifth time. Mm. Withdraw money. Okay, 300k. Not bad. Let's see what the price of Haruka are. Earrings. These earrings are full of passionate energy that will make your fighting spirit less likely to fall while you're dancing. Toughness pin. Wear this pin to keep you from tiring out while you're dancing. Hmm. Oh, this one might actually be good, though, for Haruka. From tiring out while dancing. Or that means I can't... Ooh. And this one? Your fighting spirit less to fall while dancing. We need these. Okay, uh, Haruka. Last one. What, are, what is the dance that we need to do? Hard dance battle. Don't say. And then we're just talking. Hey, you're Haruka, the one who had a great battle against Akari at the summit. Hello, Mitsu-san. I haven't seen you in a while. What are you doing here? Ah, it's such a long and painful story, ho. Oh. You see, after the summit, I lost my wallet. Even worse, my return plane ticket was in there. My poor purse ticket. Oh no. What are you going to do? I know, right? That's exactly what I said. But then I got an idea. I'm going to organize dance battles here to make enough money to buy another ticket. Organize dance battles? That's right. Whenever somebody is looking for a dance battle po a battle opponent, I'll set them up with another dancer. I'll charge a small fee for my service, you know, to go towards replacing the ticket I lost. That's a pretty good idea. I know, how about you, Haruka? Are you tough enough to take on opponents you can't find anywhere else? Hmm. Well, I understand you are in a tough situation, me to some, but I can't help but feel like I'm being pushed into this. Alright, fine, I won't force you, but come back if you ever feel brave enough to try, alright? Okay, we gotta try one of these hard dance battles, though, so that I can get a sense of it. Because we're gonna need to do something very hard soon. Just dance heat settings. Uh, we need you to be rainbow sh- no. This bold dance move will earn you massive bonus points. This one's already okay then, I guess. Uh, heart smash. This one. Just got fries and chicken, lol. Uh, let's just go with Akari. Hi, Arika. Akari, are you so set to start? Yep, ready anytime. Now let's go. Jealous, Lizzie. I want chicken and fries. So what was it? Are you fucking kidding me? Someone type it out to Lizzie. I I, I already said it too many times. 
Ah, ah, ah. Na, 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 na. Did I win? I won. Game. I can't control when people walk in. I'm just gonna type it myself. Nobody is typing it out, so I'm typing it myself. Three times. Johnny. How much XP did I get? Not that much. Then Lizzie tells me she's gone again, and I'm like... <laughs> we need to go to Kamarucho, because we're gonna spend money for food over there. No one told me- I told you! I typed it! I typed it out! <laughs> hey, you better! I thought it was your bolt. <laughs> Lol. Picaros! <laughs> He's driving me insane. Okay, last thing to do. I don't know if we're too low level or if we're high enough level, to be honest. Thankfully, I don't have to get Haruka to level 25, because that's just going to take a long time. Right? I don't have to bring Haruka to level 25. 
or do I? Is there a completion list thing for that? City exploration still needs to be done. So I'm level 21 right now, we're almost level 22. By the end of this quest we get 50 experience, 50k experience points. Which is, with a little bit of luck, maybe... We just need to do Kamarucho for Thor spots as well. Also came out that way because my mom was very independent though. Makes sense, makes sense. Pantaloons? What the fuck are pantaloons? Pantaloons. Ah, Mr. Sunglasses. Are you Haruka Sawamura-san? Hmm. Oh yes, that's me. Who are you? I serve the Amon clan. I have a letter to give you. Amon, go ahead, take it. Pants. Who in the world is the Amon clan? I guess I better read the letter and find out. To Haruka Saramura, my arch rifle. I await you in the parking lot at Southwest Sotenbori. There, will s there we will settle things between us, Nao Amon. What could this possibly be about? Who is Nao Amon and what does she mean? Settle things. Better head to the parking lot to figure this out. She's being fancy with her French. Oui, oui, mon ami! Lizzie wasn't here when I was doing the French accent for the celebrity uh, person. And it was very bad, so to say. Guess what? Guess what? What? Let's see, I'm pretty sure the letter said she'd be waiting somewhere around here. I just like to say pantaloons lol. It's fun. Haruka Sawamura. Oh, are you now Amon? The one who wrote the letter? That's right. I am the eldest daughter of the Amon clan. I'm surprised you decided to show up. Pretty brave. I'll give you that much, Haruka Sawamura. Hmm. We know each other. Hey, don't play dumb with me. You know perfectly well that I called you here to settle things between us once and for all. Now let's do this! What? What do I do? I think there's something off about this person. I'd better not get involved. I'm sorry, I actually have something urgent. Maybe we can do this in our time? Now if you'll excuse me, Kazuma Kiryu. How do you know that name? Amon clan and Kiryu are arch rivals. You were raised by him, you practi you're practically his daughter. That means you and I, we are rivals too. Wait a minute, what do you mean arch rivals? And who exactly is the Amon clan anyway? Amon clan is a legendary assassin group, once targeted by the Amon. Nobody escapes yeah. life. That is, until he showed up. You mean Uncle Kaz? That's right, Kazuma Kiryu, when he appeared, the Amon's reputation started to waver. Since then, our clan has sworn to bring him down. I'd love to be able to take Kazuma Kiryu out myself, but the Amon clan has an ironclad rule against women and men engaging in battle. And I had the misfortune of being born a woman! Oh no! But then, just when I felt I had to take my frustration out on someone, you came along. Me? That's right, you. Kazuma Kiryu's loved one. 
And not only that, a new pump idol with amazing performance skills too. If I defeat you, I could finally hold my head high as a member of the Amon Clan, even if I can't fight Kazuma Kiryu myself. I am not sure what to say. <sighs> then don't say anything. Ugh. You aren't anything like Kazuma Kiryu, are you? Just shut up and let your abilities do the talking. We're going to do this right now. What are we gonna do exactly? Dance battle! The dance with no pants! I mean, what? <laughs> Start with the point bonus. Holy shit. I actually win. Nice. First try. That's what we like to see, boys! That's how we like to do it! Pantaloons. I don't understand why you like that word. One. Whew, that was not easy. Well done, Haramka Sawamura. I guess I shouldn't be have expected anything less from the girl raised by Kazuma Kiryu himself. Anyway, this has been an interesting fact-finding mission. Just so you know, I won't hold back in our next battle. Our next battle? Yeah. That's right, we still need to settle things between us in one of your little concert battles. When you are ready, come to Soden TV. I'll construct the perfect place for you to meet your doom. Doom! Gosh, I wonder what Cheesy has planned. Soden TV, huh? I have to take a taxi. Doom! I said doom! <laughs> Okay, I actually thought that was going to be a lot harder, but I guess my skills uh, surprise me these days. Time to go get some food in Kamarucho, because... Uh, we already did all the restaurants in this area. Oh, I actually already ran past the cab. What a dumbass. Go somewhere else. We'll go to Sony TV after we heal up. Um, it's a fun. I predicted Zillar saying it's fun.
らっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Now we need to equip these things again so that our heat lasts longer. And we can pretty much just go through the entire song with max heat. Whoosh! This lady bought, brought me cookies. What a sweet lady. Because I helped her, lol. Cookies! Lizzie sharing is caring. I came to some TV like a month's son said, but where is she? I've been waiting for you, Haruka Sawamura. Why does she have the flashy eyeglass sunglasses? Why so TV? Is there something you have in mind? Hm. What else? That, of course. Princess League? Obviously. What better place to defeat you than on your own precious Princess League stage? Are you serious? How were you even able to arrange that? I told you, the Among Clan is an assassin group. As much as such, we have done work of all kinds of important... For, for all kinds of important people. From those in political circles and those in the Mafia. There's an industry there here that the Among Clan can't reach. Getting a stage set up... Identical to the Prince League was simple. Well, I can't believe this. Oh, come on. Let's get on with it. If you're supposed to be the best and I beat you, then that means I'm the best. <laughs> You'll make a fine stepping stone, Haruka Sawamura. So much more. Holy shit, you already stopped failing! You already started panicking. That's really bad.
might actually lose. Maybe I win, but I think I lose, actually. Ah, why? Whew. I fucking ruined the middle of that song so badly. I should have lost that. Why can't I beat you? One clan has passed our knowledge down through the generations, all with the aim of being the yeah. best. If I lose to someone like you, what does that make me? Do you know what I think? I think that if your whole purpose is doing something is to be the best, you'll never be able to yeah. do so. What? I just mean that if a person is truly good at what they do, they strive not to be the best, but rather towards a specific dream or conviction. A person needs to be motivated by something positive, not something like pride or revenge. If she wants to be truly great, there is no other way. I really believe that. <laughs> so not only do I lose, but I have to get a lecture too. Looks like I'm still disgraced to the Amon clan. I didn't mean for it to be a lecture, I'm yeah. sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. That belief of yours got you this far. I mean, you won, didn't you? You're probably right. All my life, I've had a chip on my shoulder about being born a woman. I was always worried about bringing shame upon the Amon name. With that kind of negative thinking, I guess I was setting myself up to fail from the start. Once on. Well, you beat me this time. I must rethink what it truly, what it means to be truly great. Arka Sawamura, thank you. I'm glad I got a chance to go up against you, but I'm warning you, next time, I will not lose. You're on! Fudge-filled peanut butter cookies. Azoli has a crush on Haruka. He told me not to tell anyone. I do not. <laughs> I'm on, son. You're stronger than you think. Gosh, Uncle Cass sure has a lot of enemies. No shit. <laughs> okay, at least give me like two levels up. Maybe three. Five, maybe. Damn, only two. Means we're now level 23. Thankfully, we don't have to reach level 25 with Haruka. Let me actually Google this before we progress the story. Yakuza 5 Remastered. They're a point to... of Link Haruka to 25. So I'm in mid-chapter 3, I've done everything available. What's the best method for getting to level 25 and realizing with Sejima and Kiryu end up having to grind out a lot of street fights? Make sure you unlock the level cap thing with Kiryu first when you get him back later. If you plan on if you are planning to do dance battles, pick the one with the lowest life bar and on normal and perform two punches to KO her. So 50 seconds for 1,000 experience points. I made a mistake to do all of Haruka's job as soon as possible. Level 22, I was missing more than 100k XP to reach 25 and ended up doing over 100 times the same battle. The girl to the northeast proved to be the fastest. 30 seconds for the first bomb to finish off with the heat. Uh, and even though the dance itself only lasts 50 seconds, all dialogues and cutscenes made it 70 seconds long. Two hour grind to reach 25 for Haruka. If you can save a few jobs. Um, just came here to ask the same question, Han Finier's, Kiryu's, Kamaki's training. Paid Kamaki already, blah blah blah. Huh. 
100% you're safe, you can do that in Premium Adventure. If you're worried about being 25 for EX hard, you may not need to worry. If you are going for all sub-stories and all golden pistol, you are fine, provided you complete all Haruka sub-stories. The GP will get you through pretty much regardless, all of your levels through, the more the better the course. Be able to just effortlessly shoot your way through 90%. On that note, I think Akiyama probably is the best guy to give the gun for the final stretch. Even when you fight properly, it doesn't seem too hard. I don't think you guy, any of my guys are above 21 except Haruka. Doesn't even really have to worry about dying. Um. Oh man, I need to go to the toilet. Uh, we're level 23. I need 23k experience points. <laughs> Let me actually ask Kalmar this and check the achievements. Cal, uh, need to max out Haruka, right? Level 25 needed for plat. Uh, this one is done. Trophies. Raise all players to level 20. I don't think I have to, but let's just for the sake of whatever level we're up. Uh, I'm BRB real quick. I need to go to the toilet. And we're back. Okay, so uh, Haruka doesn't need to get any higher level. That is good for me to know because that saves me a shit ton of fucking Garbo time. Bye. Okay, uh, Haruka side quests are done. We need to open up Locker Keys Kamarucho and Tourist Spots soon. Because that is the next thing that we're gonna do. Uh, we didn't pick anything up yet, so that is super chill for me. We're just gonna follow the map. Let me actually open another one so that one to scroll and the other one to uh, have the map on. Put it there. Zone. Uh, in theater square. Final sub stories, that's the last, last thing. We still need to catch a Marlin soon, but that's for later. Uh, Minamida is done. This one is for later as well. Welcome back, Lizzie. Sorry, I'm slow, I know. Okay, for now, this is... Let me actually open, because the other one is Akiyama's last sub-story. That's Seijima, sorry. I need Akiyama. Akihama. This. During the final chapter. Okay. Yeah. Okay, doki. Numa numa yay. Numa 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 yay. Okay, use the cab. We're going back to Kamarucho des. Numa 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 name. Ikota si ravusta i dame. Pestero ki
Yeah, Akiyama and Kiryu. But Kiryu can't be done until we finish all the others. Because Kiryu is a mom, and we need max level all our abilities and armor and everything. So that is probably the most final thing that we're gonna do. Gonna sing you a song and make you fall in love. I would already have you put under my arms. Oh, hey, Erica. Sorry to keep you waiting. Just glad you're okay. Did you finish everything you needed to do? It's gonna be nothing but practice from here on on. So if you have any last minute stuff you need to take care of, now is the time to do it. If not, what do you say? Ready for practice? Get back to practice. Am I really ready to start practice? I think I might have some other things to take care of first. No, get back to practice. We're done. Yes, I'm ready to practice. All right, great. Let's get started. Numa, 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 yay. Well, Kid is really out. Daijoukashira, <laughs> そう。そう。それで大悟の方はどんな具合いや。そっちも悪い。心臓を無理やり動かしてるって状況だ。今日明日が峠ってとこだろ。しかし驚いたぜ。俺が追いかけてた殺人事件の容疑者と同島大悟が一緒に東
交差点みてえな場所なのかもしれねえなその通りですよ伊達さん秋山秋山この店は桐生さんそれにその信念に共鳴する人間の交差点やっぱりみんなここに集まってくるんですねお前お久しぶりですね大島さん,大島さんどうしてお前がここに実は皆さんに近江連合と東上会の今起こっていることについていろいろと話さなきゃならない聞いておかなきゃならないことがあると思いましたね秋山まさかお前も一枚かんどるんかええ、まあ、福岡で始まり札幌大阪そして名古屋と続いた東上会をめぐるこの一連の事件それはすべてつながっています七代目近江連合現会長黒沢翼彼の計画に気づいた三人の男の手によってね三人の男道島大吾さんそれに大阪工業会長の勝谷直樹そしてもう一人はあの真島五郎さんですこれを真島さんと勝谷それにパク・ミレイという女性が命がけで計画した愛する人間を守るための証拠です皆さん少しお時間をもらえませんか Get some time, bros. Kid, you still KO on the fucking desk. A bar. Conquer no chicken. Sweater, a old miren go no gen kaicho. Crossover to your toko a kaka kushtamonos. Sreamo gozonj deska. Ah, Omega Kurmani, Sajima Karagata no Hanasha Kite. Ano Crossover to your toko. Tojo Kai no Kangu ya Kiryu. Sreni Muchi no Watase ya Katsio Kistamini. やったことやと言うとったがそうです全ては黒沢の余命が原因で今回の事件は始まっています登場会の杯外交それに伴う福岡札幌名古屋での幹部殺害全ては黒沢が描いた計画ですしかし唯一大阪で起こった事件のみが性質が違います大阪での事件って一体何なんだこの手紙です真島さんがかつて結婚していたパクさんという女性に宛てたこの手紙をめぐって勝也率いる大阪工業とはるかちゃんが所属する芸能事務所ダイナチアとの騒動が起きてしまったんです真島の別れた女だと西島お前そんなこと知ってたか思い出したが勝也っちゅう名前もパクいう名前もどっかで聞いたことある思ってたシャバに出てきてから一度マジマの口からそんな名前のやつの話を聞いたことがあるウィンドウお互いの今の立場もあっていろいろと公にできないところもあったんでしょうマジマさんがかつて結婚していたという事実を知る人間はほとんどいないはずですでこの手紙がどうしたんだこれがそんなに重要なもんなのかその手紙はマジマさんがかつての妻だった女性はるかちゃんも所属するダイナチア芸能事務所の社長パク・ミレイさんに宛てたものです問題はその手紙の消し印真島さんが札幌で殺されたという日よりも後のものなんです真島が死んだ後の消し印だとええしかも手紙の文面は真島さんの居場所を指し示す内容になっているその情報を知った大阪工業の連中は真島さんはまだ生きているものだと思い真島さんの居場所を突き止めようとその手紙を奪いに走ったんですその結果手紙を持っていたパクさんは非業な死を遂げその手紙を引き継いだはるかちゃんも大阪工業に追われる身となってしまったじゃちょっと待てじゃあ真島はまだ生きてるってことなのかいや残念ながらそれはないでしょうねもし生きているとすれば昨晩黒沢を追って姿を現しているでしょうでも真島さんは姿を現さなかったおそらく
この手紙がパクさんに届いた段階ですでに亡くなっていたと考える方が自然です兄弟じゃあこの手紙どうやってマジマはパクって女に出すことができたんだカツヤですそもそもこの手紙はあらかじめマジマさんからカツヤに託されたものだったんですなんだとどういうことなんだずっと気になっていたことがあったんです大阪工業の人間はどこでこの手紙の存在を知り得たのかそれが全く分かりませんでしたそのダイナチェアいう会社の誰かから話漏れたんかいやそれはありませんパクさんは生前手紙を金庫に保管していたくらいです手紙を持っているということすら従業員は知らなかったでしょうじゃあどっからその秘密がこの写真に隠されていましたこれは今から20年前当時東京でアイドルとして活動していたパクさんそれにその旦那さんだった真島さんそしてまだアクション俳優として活躍していた頃の勝也を写したものですな,なんだと当時勝也のマネージャーをしていた男から聞きましたパクさんと勝也それに真島さんの3人は20年前から切っても切れない深い絆でつながっていたんです俳優を引退した勝也を世話したのも真島さんだそうですお前さっきこの3人が計画した言うとったけどそしたらまさかそう真島さんの手紙の存在をリークしたのは勝也それに他でもないパクさん自身なんですどういうことだおそらくその手紙は真島さんと勝也が黒沢の計画に気づき仕掛けたトラップといったところでしょうトラップ本来殺されるはずだった真島さんが生きているという情報をわざと流しその情報に寄ってくる人間が誰なのかそれを見定めるための罠として手紙は用意されたものだったんですそして敵はまんまとその罠にはまった誰だったんだその敵ってのは勝也が会長を務める近江連合直産大阪工業若頭の家内それに俺をわざと煽ってはるかちゃんが大阪から逃げないよう誘導した父兄の刑事あの黒沢が真島さんの手紙を追っていた人間です家内家大悟を打ったあの男が古文の家内が裏で黒沢とつながっているということを知った勝也は自分が真島さんと通じているということを悟られないようにするためあえて自らもこの手紙を追うような行動を取っただが実際は家内に監禁されていたはるかちゃんを救い出したりはるかちゃんの身に危険が及ばないよう先回りするような行動をとっていますきっとそれがパクさんを守りきれなかったことへの償いでもあったんでしょうじゃあパクは勝也と真島の計画に巻き込まれた犠牲者だったってわけかおそらくパクさんもこの手紙を受け取った段階で自分の身に危険が迫ることは分かっていたんだと思いますだから事件の鍵を解き明かすためのヒントを金庫の鍵である万年筆をはるかちゃんに託したもしものことがあった時はるかちゃんならきっと自分の意思を継いでくれるに違いないそう思ったんでしょうでもなぜそこまで分かっていてパクは真島や勝也に協力したんだ登場会と近江連合の構想とは関係のない人間のはずなのにそれが彼女と真島さんの絆なんでしょう多分パクさんは死ぬまで真島さんと会うつもりはなかったんだと思います生きる世界も違ういくら愛していても一度すれ違った道は再び交わる the fuck they ended up meeting, though. それでも彼女はどこかでつながりを感じていたかっただから勝也を通じて真島さんの近況を聞き20年前の思い出をよすがにして孤独なビジネスの道を歩んでいったんだと思います桐生さんと俺らの交わる点がこの店なんだとしたらパクさんと真島さん愛し合いながらも別れなければならなかった2人の交差点は勝也だったということでしょうしかしそれにしてもお前よくその手紙と写真だけで福岡や名古屋の事件のことまで調べたもんだなああいや実は今
ちょっとそのあたりの事情に詳しいっていうか詳しくなってしまった人間と一緒に行動してましたね誰だそれ元プロ野球選手でうちの店の客なんですが今ちょっと友達のところに会いに行ってます友達友達あ、oh, but he's already dead, right? Wait, no? Yes? No? No, I need you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. 同じ夢を追いかけた仲間が殺された時夢と復讐どっち取るフクシュですね。でもそいつが復讐を望んでいないんだとしたら夢を取ります。そいつの夢も叶えるためにね。それが仲間ってもんじゃないですか。Kind of are for, right? <laughs> 悪かったな、いきなり話しかけて。ほな。あ、oh, no, he's going to check on Daigo, obviously. ちょっともういつもそこでミスるわね。確かにさ、曲の後半で一番動きが激しいとこだけどさ、振りが頭に入ってないんじゃないのすいません。先生、もう一度お願いします。うちのあの二人、性格は褒められたもんやないが、ダンスと歌の実力は本物や。振り付けを覚えるコツも、それを表現するテクニックも知っとる。それに引き換え、はるかの方は。まだまだやな。せやけど、あのパクさんが夢を託した女や。<笑>なんとしても、あと一日でこの曲をマスターしてもらわんことにはな。せや。なんせもう明日にはドームの舞台に立つんやからね。ドームのコンサートが危険だと。ええ。実は一番皆さんに相談したかったのはそのことなんです。実ははるかちゃん、日本ドームでメジャーデビューコンサートを控えてるんですが、それが危険なんじゃないかと。けど。確かあのコンサートは中止になったはず。それが違うんです。実は勝也が手を回して、日程が今日から明日に変更になったんです。しかも、はるかちゃんだけでなく、大阪芸能所属のはるかちゃんのライバル、T セットとの特別ユニットを組んで舞台に立つと。T セットっつったら、はるかの代わりにコンサートやるっつったあのコンビが、あれと組むのかええ。多分今も。明日披露するデビュー曲のレッスンをしているところでしょう。で、コンサートが危ないっちゅうのはどういうことや多分、カツヤは、ハルカちゃんのコンサートが黒沢に狙われているというとこまで読んだ上で、わざとハルカちゃんの公演を中止にさせたんじゃないかと思いましたね。なんで黒沢はハルカを狙うんだもしもの時のための保険でしょう。ハルカちゃんは。キリュウさんを殺し損ねた時の脅迫材料にするにはもってこいの存在ですからね確かにあの時黒沢は言うとったな
キリュウにハルカの心配をした方がええっちゅうようなことをだがドームでのコンサートはパクさんそして勝也自身の夢でもあっただからどうにか開催日を変更することでハルカちゃんの安全を確保し彼女をドームのステージに立たせようとしてたんじゃないかとなるほどなしかしその予定も狂ってしまった本来なら勝也は昨晩黒沢と決着をつけるつもりだったんでしょうだが黒沢を取り逃してしまったコンサートを中止しようにも当の勝也は意識不明の渋滞事態は悪い方向に進んでしまってますそれでお前はどうする気なんだ明日のコンサートなんとかして黒沢たちの侵入を防ぐもしくは延期いや中止にできないかと思ってます中止かまあそうなるよなドームでのコンサートなんてことになりゃそれこそ万を超える人間が出入りすることになる実際黒沢の侵入は防げたとしてもその一味全員を締め出すなんてことは不可能だからな正直辛い選択です実際に俺も今日までは何としてもハルカちゃんを舞台に立たせるつもりで協力してきましたですが黒沢がこの町にいる今他に選択肢がダメだダメだキリュウさんキリュウさんけるのかお前どんな事情があってもそのコンサートを中止にしないでやってくれ桐生お前話聞いてたのかああ大体のところはなだったらわかるだろう今ドームでコンサートをすることがどれだけ危険なことなのかわかってるわかってるそれじゃどうして<笑>はるかが今の話を知ったところで結局は舞台に立つ道を選ぶからだお前もそれを分かってて俺たちに相談しに来たんじゃないのかおそらくはるかを止めることができる人間は俺だけだろうからなそうですきっとはるかちゃんはどんな危険が待っていると分かっていても舞台に上がると言うでしょうでもキリュウさんあなたが直接諦めろと言えば彼女はそれに従うはずだ危険と分かっていてもあなたに彼女を舞台に立たせる勇気がありますかキリュウさんキリュウお前俺が行ってくるいいセジマハンこんなとこにおったんかちょっと夜風に当たりたくてなお前迷うとんのかまあな答えは心の中で決まっているのにどうしても Still scares me. あの黒沢って男にはるかのことを言われた瞬間からそのことが頭から離れないあの黒沢って男は心に揺さぶりをかけるのが天才的にうまいやつや無理もないそれだけじゃないんだはるかや朝顔の子供たちと離れて暮らしてからの1年間俺は本当の孤独というものを味わったそばに女がいても新しい仲間ができてもなぜか心は寂しかったどうしてなんだろうな昔は無所で暮らした時もこんな感覚なかったもう俺も追いちまったってってことなのかなすんげんちゃうそれが家族なんや家族17年前
お前には家族がおった。錦山、それにユミ、風間の親父といった連中がな、せやから10年無所に入ろうが、遠く離れて暮らそうが、寂しいと思うことがなかったんや。自分には帰る家がある。絶対にまっとってくれる家族がおる。それだけで人間は孤独から救われるんや。俺もそうやった25年も無所に入っとってそれでも希望を失わんかったのは外に安子それに真島の兄弟が待っとると信じてたからやけど安子は死んだそれに真島の兄弟も行方知れずやけどな俺は今とも寂しないなんでかわかるかいや二人とも自分の決めた道を進んだ末行ったからやつらは生かされてたんやない自分の力で生きて自分の足で歩いて力尽きたなら残った俺はやつらの分まで思いっきり生きるだけそう思えるようになったんや自分の力で生きるかはるかのコンサートのことはお前が決めたらええお前があの子に夢を叶えさせたいと思うんやったら俺らはいくらでも協力するたまには仲間を頼りにするっちゅうのも悪いもんやないで桐生Yo, yo, yo, Yordi! Lizzie, welcome back again. Friends, huh? Takara, Kochi no Idiuchi Kara, hide in the day. Yakuo no Tokita, Chingao no. And that are Kochi no Idiuchi are do this car. Kokora Tara, Gaia Sekimo, she knew the game. We are friends, what the fuck? Are we? Really, Lizzie? We aren't? No, we are. Kiryu-san. <laughs> 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 そうやなじゃあ当日の入り口についてですがもう一度おさらいするとですねちょっと待ってくれはいこの男誰だ There's like oh shit I can't have Lizzie on my bad side <laughs> True ああ紹介するの忘れてましたえ彼が大悟さんの友人で元プロ野球選手で球界を追放されておまけに俺から3億2000万もの金を借金しようとした、えー、名古屋の風俗ライター知らなすよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いします<笑><笑>じゃあもし敵がはるかちゃんを銃か何かで狙撃するとしたらガイアスタンドからしかありえないってことだなはいもしこの図面通りステージがホームベース上に位置するんであれば誰にも見つからずに狙撃できるポイントはさらに絞られますこのバックスタンドの横この部分しかありえませんなんでそこまで断定できるんやもっと他にも狙撃できるとこありそうなもんやけどなそれ以外の場所だと周囲に人がいたり
角度の問題で狙撃するのが難しくなってしまうステージの柱や照明それにカメラの配置を考えるとホームベースを狙い撃ちするにはこのポイントしか考えられないんですまるで経験があるような一振りだないくら元野球選手って言ったって狙撃されたこともしたこともないんでしょ本当にその場所に敵が来るって断定しちゃっていいのかな本当ですってここしかないんですって現に狙撃とまではいかないですが実際プロの世界じゃホームチームがこのポイントにスパイを用意するのは常識だったりしますからスパイなんだそれいわゆるサイン等ってやつですこのポイントから相手キャッチャーのサインを直接望遠鏡などで盗んでそれをベンチに無線で送ったりしてますじゃあプロのバッターってのは相手の配球を知った上で打ったりしてるってわけ全部が全部ってわけじゃないですけど試合を決定づけるような局面でサインを盗むってのは結構ありますねちょっと待ったそれじゃあ君が15年前サイン通したって疑いをかけられた事件ってのも、so... 本当にサインを盗んでいたってことその逆なんです。本来ならサヨナラがかかったあの場面、ワイバーンズが勝ちに行くんであれば、バックスタンドのコンビニに配置してサインを盗み、その配球を三塁コーチャーが俺に教えてくるはずでした。だがあの時、バックスタンドには誰もいなかった。じゃあ君はサインを知らなかったってことはいだからあの時俺はホームランを打てたんですサインを事前に知らされていたらきっとあのストレートを打つことはできなかったでしょうからなるほど皮肉なもんだねサインを知らなかったからこそ打てたホームランかなのに君はサイン等の権威をかけられ9回追放されちまったんだからなだがどうして15年前にそのことを話さなかったんだ話せば無実が証明されそうなもんだがまあそうなんですけどねできなかったなんでお客さんの夢を奪いたくなかったんです誰も夢のフィールドでそんなことが行われているなんて知らないいや知りたくもない彼らは俺たちのプレーを見て喜び興奮し自分の果たせなかった夢を重ね合わせる俺が打ったたった一本のホームランそれを見て元気を取り戻してくれたってファンの人もいてくれたんです夢か夢かこのコンサートも同じです会場に来るお客さんたちははるかちゃんの歌いを踊る姿に夢を見る人間ってのは自分の目で夢を見ないとダメなんです夢を見なきゃ自分の夢を想像することなんてできないそうやって夢ってのは形を変えて人から人に伝わっていくもんなんだと思います俺が沢田に夢を見たように堂島君が俺に夢を感じてくれたように今度は堂島君が命がけで守ろうとした夢を俺が引き継ぐ番ですそやな Lucy, I want more food. 俺も兄弟が残した夢に蹴りつけなあかんからなですねああですねああ、クロソワ、ベトホーカムロ町の夜景がこんなにもいいもんだとはなお前が生きてることは分かってた最後の最後までどちらか片方が生き残り俺を倒すそれが勝也との約束だったんだろう。マジマゴロウ。See, I knew he was alive! マジマ。クロサワ
さあ最後の一仕事手伝ってもらうとするか。Oh. Okay, we're in free mode in a bit. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. <sighs> Final chapter Dreams fulfilled. Yori, you gotta say he's bae. I'm not gonna say that. あとは時間が来るまで各自自由行動にしませんそうですねそれぞれまだやり残してることはあるでしょうしせやな Try as hard as you can, Lizzie Let the gods hear your cries 自由に使って構わないってママから伝言です毛布も用意してもらったんで休みたい時にでも使ってくださいそんなとこですかね準備が済んだら氷しよういいですかわかったOne who's probably carrying the most, so I don't mind if you don't. Suits me. No complaints here. Each character funds have been pulled, and shared item box has also been added. When you access item box, you can now use items from other characters. You can change characters now. Select a character from the hideout menu. Yeah. It's tomorrow evening, then. You're free to explore now until tomorrow evening. Use the blankets at New Serena to move time forward. Once you've done all you want, talk to Kiryu if you are controlling Akiyama. Or otherwise, talk to Akiyama. You can now travel to the cities each character is linked to by taxi. You can also change characters in each city. Upon changing characters, you will resume playing Kamarucho. Okay, so we're starting with Akiyama because he is currently still on the lowest level. 2.8 mil. Okay, uh, items are filled up. Okay, so first we're gonna go do a side quest that is here, right, real quick. Nearby. And... Game levels, we're level 18. As long as I remember to actually go and... We also need to go check out on, uh, go to Elise. Ah, pardon me, but aren't you Chairman Uyama-san of the Kushikatsu Daruma? Yes, you are. How goes it? Huh? Hmm. Oh, oh, if it isn't Akiyama-san, thank you again for your help over in Sotenbori. Bring Shia up this way. Some coincidence running into you here. Yes, I have to agree. Are you here on business? Yep, I'm sure I told you before, but I'm trying to conjure up new uh, Kushikatsu items. New eats to skewer and fry. I thought I should could try a new specialty turn could turn specialties from various regions into kushikatsu, so I've been on the road from Osaka to Tokyo sampling foods. If you're a chairman in person, that's some dedication. Yeah, but nothing really doing it for me. The way things were going, I could be heading home empty-handed. Hey, I know. You look like you got a lot of friends, Akiyama. Hmm. Don't know about that. I do seem to have acquaintances with pretty colorful backgrounds, though. Well then! Some of them must be from other cities with their own local specialties, right? Think you could ask them for me? Mm, I see. Asking is easier than going there. Those guys weren't really born and raised in other regions, but wouldn't that hurt to ask. Okay, I may have a few people I could prompt for ideas. Awesome. Much appreciated. In the meantime, I'll be scouting around here. Osaki. Uh, 
Um, Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, why not ask them now? Pardon me, gents. A moment of your time. What is it? You need something? Yeah, what's up? Well, you see... And so I was hoping to hit you three up for ideas on regional specialties that might be good as deep fried scores. Hmm, I didn't pay much attention to when I was down yep. south. I was on the lawn, wasn't doing much dining out. <laughs> I'm always hurting for cash, so I can't afford all to eat well. I guess I picked the wrong panel of experts. Well, nothing I can do about it now. Promised, man. So allow me to at least get your opinions. If I start with Kiryu-san, right? Kiryu-san, you were in Nagasugai Fukuoka, right? Yes, that's where I was. Any local tea specialties we recommend? Let me think. Mentaiko. I'd say there was a shop famous for the spicy fish row in Nagasugai too. Ooh, I see. It's rather intriguing, actually. I'm curious as to what it would taste like as a kushikatsu. Thank you. That was quite a noteworthy suggestion, Majima. <laughs> At least Sep joins in, Lizzie. You don't have to cry anymore. Oh. Mm. Spent in Hokkaido's Tsukimino, which is known for its many local specialties. What might you recommend? Well... Salmon. Hmm. Weren't you up in the mountains? Yeah, but there was a river close by. Folks smoked them to get them through the winter. It was pretty good. No wonder bears liked them so much. See, salmon, huh? That does sound good. As far as rice balls go, I'm definitely partial to sell them. Uh, okay, hope that helps. Indeed it does, thank you. Sure! Last but not least, Shinada-san, can I get your input too? Sure, sure, but I don't know how much I'll help. Nonsense, you were in Kinichio and Nago Nagoya, right? What local specialties come to mind? Hmm, let's see. Chicken wings! How about chicken wings? I bet they are be a good fit for kushikatsu. Mm, very true. I don't quite know how they would stick wings on skewers, but there's no doubt they'd be great fried. That's very helpful, thank you. Oh, no problem. No problem. Okay, that's it for everyone here. Appreciate your cooperation. I may hit you up again for more ideas later though. Sure, okay, anytime. All right, I should report back to the chairman. Chairman does. So I want to do this first. Let me fight this buffoon here. Oops. That's definitely not what I intended. Oh, that's also not what I intended. Well. It's done, it's done. Five thousand yen. Not too bad. Nope, 
that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, not that one either. Damn it, I'm trying to like do a specific move. Because I need to get 50 kills with that. <laughs> and I just keep doing the wrong things. Super annoying. This one. Don't rustle up any ideas for some new Kutsia? Yes, I spoke with some acquaintances who have been living in Fuoka, Hokkaido, and Nogaya. My Fuoka acquaintance suggests as Mentaiko, spicy fish row. Hmm. Uh huh, that's a good one. Oh, good. Here's hoping it works. Next, my acquaintance from Hokkaido suggests a salmon. Ah, yes, salmon. That does sound good for frying on a skewer. Yeah, salmon is pretty tasty, isn't it? I'm glad you like the idea. And finally, my Nagoya acquaintance suggests a chicken wings. Chicken wings, that makes sense. Yes, I'm sure that will work just fine. I think so too. Wings should work. I'm glad you like the ideas. That's about all I have for you. Well, I'll have what you told me and mold over. Appreciate the help. Just fucking ups and leaves. I hear something, but I don't see it. Well, if I can't see it, we can deal it. Going up to Elise. Ah. Oh, it's you, sir. Hey, Yukio-chan, you get the hang of running the club yet? To be frank, it's not going all that great, sir. We've been losing a lot of clients lately. I mean, just look, it's totally dead in here. Whoa. Yeah, this isn't looking good. Any idea what the problem is? Honestly, Kamarucho just isn't popular right now. Ropogni and Ginza are all the rage. Once we lose our customers to another part of the city, it's difficult to get them back. Sounds like a tough situation to fix. Also, we just don't have very good girls. The ones we were even, who were even the slightest bit popular all got snatched away by better clubs. Wait, what? And you just let that happen? What was I supposed to do? I can only pay them so much. And the girls want to go where they have more clients to pick from. Hmm, damn. Well, I assume you're looking for new girls to be part of our lineup, oh. right? Of course, sir. It's just as Kamarucho is sort of dull, dull's file these days, uh, so finding the right girls isn't as easy as it used to be. Hmm. So you haven't found anyone at all. I did find one girl. She's a real diamond in the rough, this one. I'm sure she'll be a big asset for us. She's still in training, is the thing. I've been very hands-on with her, but she's not ready for prime time just yet. I see. So what you're telling me is that our current lineup of girls so sucks. Yeah. Basically, yes. Well, damn, I can't score the town to find girls if there aren't even many around. Actually, sir, about that, I have an idea. Well, if scouting around Kamarucho isn't going to get us anywhere, maybe you could go to different cities and look around there. Ah, come on, that's just... Well, maybe you're right. That might be our best and only option. We need girls who are ready to go ASAP, and preferably ones who are already doing good business for their club. All right, what other cities do you, did you have in mind? All the big cities, Fuoka, Sapporo, Osaka, Nagoya, places uh, like that. Hmm, I swear, you, I hear you, still. Poaching popular girls from other clubs is easier said than done. Well, sure, if you just go into the club and offer them a new job, the staff's gonna throw you out right then and there. What do we do then? Oh, gee, sir, 
get to know them personally, then negotiate with them to the down low. Just ask them if they want to come visit Tokyo. That sounds like it'll take forever. I mean, I can make work one girl like that, but I can't be everywhere at once. I need help. I suppose so, sir. But the idea does have some merit. I'll admit, if I know someone who's hitting up any other of those cities, I'll let you know. I knew I could count on you, sir. In the meantime, I'll do what I can with the club uh, on my end. Uh, -dum -dum. <laughs> Go back to new Sarah now. Hi. That's where we're, we're gonna head right away. Popular new host sim. We're gonna go head to New Suriname ASAP. And then we head to Sotenbori to fix up some more junk. <sighs> and then we're done with all of that. And then we come back to Shitstake here and go search for keys. You wanna fight, bitch? Let's go. that didn't actually kill, that's kind of sad. Oops. That's even more trash. That's better. Iron Plane. This guy again. Lizzie, why are you still crying? Sepp already said it. He called Majima Bay. But I don't have to call Majima Bay when Sepp already does it. Sep is the voice of reason. And if anything, I am the opposite of the voice of reason. No, no, Lizzie, Lizzie, you and Sep are captains. I am the head captain. <laughs> Even if a captain is nuts, people will listen. Hey there, guys, could I talk to you all f about something? Some of you know this already, but in addition to my primary business of being a money loaner, I run a cabaret called oh. Cup Elise. Oh man, for real? Sweet. I wish I could make bank at my day job and have a side gig too. Well, the truth is business isn't so great. Tell us how Majima is bay. Okay, Lizzie. Majima is... Not... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Bullying Lizzie. Okay, fine. Majima is bay. He's amazing. I know, okay? Well, the truth is, business is so great. So I may have to shut down the club down soon. Tough break. So what did you want to talk to us about? I need to find girls who are ready and willing to work at a lease at the moment notice. But with the recession, there's no one to hire. We can't find any girls in or around Kamarucho who fit the bill. So you're shit up a shit... <laughs> you're up a shit creek then. I'd heard rumors, but man, that's rough. I hear lots of folk are leaving Tokyo to look for work in Nagoya too. That's exactly my point, Shinoda-san. Wait, what did I say? If there are no top-tier hosts in Kamarucho, then we need to get them somewhere else. My plan is to scout the whole country and snag the number one hosts in each of the big cities. Good one. You've put a lot of thought into this, I see. But if that's your plan, why aren't you out here busted? Why are you out here busting your ass scouting right now? Well, I can't exactly scout the whole country by myself, you know. The club would go kaput before. I made anywhere near enough progress, so I need your help. Come again. Say what now? Just hear me out. Kiryu san can take Fuoko, uh, Fuoka, Saijima san can Sapporo, Shinada, you have Nagoya, and I'll do Osaka. We spend time in those places, right? I figure each of us would know a fair bit more about those cities than the average person. 
get what you mean, but I think you're asking quite a lot of us. We didn't come here today just so we could sign up for your personal talent scouts. I get it, but if you have the time and inclination, please consider helping me out. All I'm asking is if you happen to go back to those places, just keep me in mind. Think of it this way. If you visit the cabaret club in your city and happen to find the right girl, maybe try persuade her to visit Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Hmm, what's that even mean, the right girl? Well, you're asking these girls to leave their lives behind to come to Tokyo, so you'll need to get to know them personally. You mean like, know her, know her? Well, I was trying to be subtle. Of course, if you're already on good terms with a girl, even better. That way you can invite her as soon as possible. If nothing else, I just need them for some temp work. Once my club is making good money again, they can go back to their old lives. So assuming you strike the right chord with a girl out there, they'll have a job waiting for them at least. All right, I'm with you. I'm not happy about this city having lost its edge in myself. I want to help Kamarusho get back to what it once was. Thanks, Kiryu san. <laughs> Guess I can't really say no. I owe you big for all your help with money, Akiyama. <laughs> hey, you just leave it to me, a top-notch adult entertainment journalist. I'll bring you the best hostess out there. Lizzie's happy. I said the nice things. Thank you, thank you all. It's back to Thurs and go find some hostesses. Well, yeah, that's pretty much all I needed to do here right now. And that means we're off to Sotenbori again. Ching ching, ping ping, la di da di ding ding. Move buttholes. I got places to be. Oh, I need to go back there, finish the quest. Apparently, I'm not gonna fight this guy, he's too strong. He's not too strong, but, but horns. Then we go back to Sotenbori. Because there was still food to be finished there after doing this quest. So I'd say we decided to go with Mentaki Salmon and Chicken Wings. Okay, Matt, your advice was spot on in every way. Thank you very much. Ah, all the ideas work. That's great. Okay, Matt, I owe you so much for what you've done. What do you say joining me at my company? It's an attractive offer. If my business ever goes under, I'll definitely look you up. <laughs> nah, you're way too on top of things. I doubt we'll see the day. It's not much, but think of it as a little, of, a little show of my appreciation. Thank you kindly. 20k. The truth comes out! Called Rogue Blackjack. Shh, Lizzie, don't don't share that. Don't post that on all the social medias with the link to my uh, YouTube. And uh, what's the other thing again that I'm doing? Twitch. It's too late. It's too late now. I'm hearing someone yell at me, but I can't see him again. It's always the same trouble with these buttholes. One more time. And now to go to Sotan Bori. Ladies, get out of my way. Do 
to another city, okay. Okay, so from here, what, what was the restaurant called again? Kanidokudan, Zuboya, Style, Kishini Katsudarima, all the way over there. Let's roll, bitches! One fight, but who? I got uh, fighting time. Are they all running away? About to say. Oh, that's kind of... Get up, pretty please. He probably dies before I can actually get into the combo. We don't know if that counts as a... Aerial destroyer or whatever. Victory Road Qualifier. Destroyed. No way. Hell way. Or yeah way. Whatever you prefer. Nice. Is there something with focus here? Have my HP maxed out. Oh wait, actually that's not a good idea. We might be better to just buy something in Kamarucho. Okay, that's that done. Oh no, not yet. We still need to go to the hostess club. <sighs> Jordi, why is this so hard? Why you gotta make it so hard for me? Oh shit. Uh, that wasn't really part of the plan. Somewhere over the rainbow is sweet love. La da na 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 da 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 la da da. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Skyu Roketu. It's raining, yeah. Hallelujah, it's raining, yeah. The manager at least wants me to find girls who can work right away. Maybe it's worth talking to Honoka-chan about that. Honoka-chan! What's going on, Akiyama-san? Hey there, Honoka-chan. Do you mind if I talk to you about something? What about? I run a cabaret club out in Kamarucho, and it's fallen on some hard times. I'd love if you'd be willing to help me out, just as a, on temporary basis. Oh, wow, Kamarucho? Well, want to come to want to come with me to Tokyo? Sure, okay. I was gonna head out there to look for a job anyhow. This will be like a dry run. Okay then. Looks like it's a deal. Great. I got Hanukkah to agree to my proposal. Let's go to Kamarucho and head back to Elise. Ooh, are we automatically going? No. Do I need to bring them all back though? Okay, no, I don't necessarily have to do all that. Good to know. Ooh. Don't I need to do a heat move with a syringe that is like right? Here. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's uh, keep them fixed. Oops. Mind. They are already dead. Umaiva mo, she, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I'm having issues. Yeah, fuck you. Got another guy here that's waiting for a beatdown. Sturdy to punk. So we're level 19 now, we're almost to level 20. Kamarucho Tokyo. Ah, <gasps> okay. Start here. That is one locker key. Who the fuck are you? 
Mm -hmm. Who are you? I'm waiting for Kazuma Kiryu. I've got no business with you. Oh, so it's Kiryu you're looking for. Never mind then. Oh, he, it's for the Amun side quest. Duh. You just finished all the side quests. There's one side quest left, which is Kiryu's last one for Amun. Okay, so I can't find C1 very easily. Control F, C1. Take, uh, Takeichi LA go north from Public Park behind the building. It, this is high on the wall on AC units. Okay, no wonder I can't find it. This one, I guess, right? Eye on the wall on an AC unit. There it is. What's this? What's this? Do 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 do. What's this? What's this? There's one down here somewhere. Probably high up. There. Bones it. Don't let me do the tricks. You do stick to Kurosai. Right, babies. Go. Come on. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. Is the highball pure alcohol? Or is that also food? Ooh, salt yakisoba. Oh yeah, they, this one was also in uh, Saijima City, but it missed one menu item. Now I got everything from this place. Let's go into the... whatever this place is called again. Please use a mule ticket? What the fuck is that? At least I can order whatever the fuck I want though. This is where everyone is starting to tell me, well, you're the, a mule ticket is like a ticket that you use to buy a mule. And I'm like, shit, mate. Really? <laughs> Not this way. We gotta go the other way. Into the bowling alley first. I'm seeing ghosts. Again. supposed to do with this prize I go down here no This is F4, right? F4. Inside Mothball, near the racks of balls at the alley. I need to do that guy there as well for the pictures. I'm probably gonna do that with Akiyama. So we'll talk to you. Uh, I'll have to check what the exact locations are later. It's too much of a run around to check everything right now. Pretty sure I saw it laying on the ground here somewhere, right? Kiryu. Apparently not. Uh, G1. Immediately outside. Oh, I'm just blind. Yeah. 
Fucking wall, bro. How are people supposed to find that one? <sighs> well, whatever. Let's go grab E2. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's see, not here. E to in theater basement with okay near the ceiling on the back wall. Z F uh, I F eight R. There. What's this? Hey Boulevard. Welcome to the Boulevard. Okay, um, go back up. We go. This way. G4 will take later when we go into that area. H1 somewhere around this wall, I guess. An incredible hard time to spot the keys in the air. In a drainage crate at the very northeast corner of Mahbul building, just outside Wild, Wild Jackson. It's Wild the Jackson, right? Or is this a Wild the Jackson? In a crate. In a oh, I saw it. I mean, I didn't see it, but I saw it. Okay, let's go grab A5, which is... Here somewhere. Seriously, how blind am I? A5, from northwest taxi stand, go straight south past the black car. You'll find it on the ground on the other side. Past the black car, this one. Taxi stand. Or, wait, did it say northwest? A5. This is north. Oh no, this is west. Past the black car. You find it there on the ground. It's not a black car, it's a blue car, isn't it? Is that it? No. That's. I 
I cannot see this key. If it wasn't for the examine button, I would have missed it 500%. Ah. At least this one is uh, visible. Wrong button. Okay, that's D3, G3. And sewers next to the fishing guy. And J1. Okay, easy enough. Right on the intersection. I blind. Of course you are, Yordi. D right, that's the D three. And the undergrad parts are start from the intersection where the casino and Coliseum are, then head a little west, north, east, southwest, between a couple of seats under an umbrella. I am blind, I just also didn't read correctly. Okay, now we go to G4. Here, nice on the ground. Saves me time. This one is inside. Somewhere at least inside. Ah, there it is. Taking that much damage yet, which is good. No 
wouldn't mind running into some rich bastards. Pick. Press too much triangle. Not a lot, but it's not a little either. God, why are these keys so hard to fucking locate? Steve 5. On the north face of the Dragon Palace are some tarps. One of them is green. Tarps, and one of them is green. Oh, I see it. Stop blinking. The annoying thing is that this map that I'm using doesn't show the locations very well. If I have to be honest, that's why I keep failing to spot them. Let's just check D1 and the Ryukuko Gambling Hall in the back. Don't have to go through every single entrance. This side over here, most likely. I three. I can find fifty keys though. Every area is such a hassle. Or in Sotenbori and in Kamurucho. Glad that the other areas didn't have any keys to find, just other sites collecting things that weren't as bad.
What were Akiyama's revelations again? Uh, not this one. Did I? Oh, here. Beer crate. Bicycle tack. Bicycles? No, but we have beer crates. Asshole. Oh, pressing the wrong buttons like a ding ding. those with Shinoda still. It's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. What happens, happens. Okay, uh, found it. Bowling attack. I do have a bowling ball. Or bowling balls hidden all over the place. Okay, that's one. Is most likely somewhere around here. Is this place still hosted by the same mama? Yeah, she's still here. I see it.
Well, as long as it works, I guess. Some salt and pepper with more salt and pepper. Listen, I'm busy here, yo. Douche nozzles. This is almost free. Free from that something that is hell. Yo, stop. Noticed you keep disappearing and saying hi and then disappearing again. here on the ground. We go to J5. Which is here. Easy. Douche nozzles. I don't have no time for you, douche nozzles. Okay, and somewhere around here in the Shogi Parlor. There. Then we go to A2. What's this? What's this? Da -da -da -do -do. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. You just say it. specific limited thingies. No, I think I have everything. Good. A 
Did it pick up the key? Uh, completion list. City exploration. Point lockers. Camarucho. It's A2, right? Yeah, we got A2. Nicely here on the ground, exactly where I like it. Domo! Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. B5, nice here on the ground as well. H2O, H2O. Iranamite. Then here in whatever this place was called, Bantam, is B4. Get it? B4? No? Where exactly is it in B4 or B4? Wouldn't be surprised if I was blind again. So let's just uh, scroll to B4. On the right hand wall with the liquor bottles. Oh, I see it. And yes, I was blind again. I am seriously surprised how some people find this shit, yo. Like... <clears throat> I could literally walk in everywhere and be... <laughs> like, very precise, but... As if... Maybe crazy. Not that crazy. And I'm also blind, apparently. Uh, wait, so you usually just use the locker key radar as well, right? Duh, dipshit. What's this number? C2. And turn east to find this key on the ground. Are you kidding me? East. Fine, we'll fight this Yakuza asshole. Damn it. Go east from the Popo on Nakamichi Street, then uh, south, and then turn east to find this key.
Hey, go play. East. South, then east. South, then east. What do you mean, south, then east? This guy is bullshitting me. Thank you, Nakakawa. Damn it, gay uh, guides. At least put it at the right place. <laughs> at least I found it. Matsuo, my. Ooh, I forgot H5, by the way. That's. And cringe. That was not necessarily what I had in mind to do either. guys have I kicked ass with this ability now so far. Still haven't unlocked the achievement. Right outside, right? Yeah. He has for F2. Which is not too bad so that I can sell some excessive bullshit that I have. Here's my key. Irashimasen. Irashimasen. Uh, gold plank. Not pearl. Pearl, pearl, pearl. Sacred wood is a no-no. Great white shark and everything we keep for the time being as well. Amulets. Other things. Just looking for the useless stuff. Italian woman watch. We'll keep that one as well, just for whatever reason. Low of doll, bronze squid, calicanth, digital Asian watch, angler's hook, sacrifice stone. Nice figurine. Sell the iron plates. You can sell the French clones. I think that's worth anything. Morning Glorious Scarf, Fat Stack of Fat Stack Amulet, Dog Food. Okay, 
from here we run to the Mayong Parlor. Par par almost ate shit, lol. Wait, you almost ate shit? What do you mean you almost ate shit? Did you take uh, a dive into uh, shit? Easy, hard. Yaddy yaddy does he. Okay, that's E1. Wrong way. Let's go this way. E4. Bingo. Bio, 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 cado, cado. Inside cruise bar on top of the billboard sign to the right. I just sold all my plates, game. Why you give me more plates? Side. Yeah. <laughs> Grab the cab. Oh no, not yet. Actually, go back. Still need to grab the. Oh, I'm all the way on the other side. this then grab cab head to the docks we're almost there oh rich person yes. How dare you call me old man douchebag? So I went to take the mail back, yes. Oh fuck, press too many buttons. But I forgot there was a box. And I went out. Lame Lizzie, lame. Already lame. Let's see, where's this fucking key? F1. This is at Pier Camarucho at the north end of the map. Oh, here. 
pile of pellets. Okay, one more key in Kamarucho. Gumbish the Kurosai. Yeah, um, Tenkichi Street's fine. Ooh, photograph. Tenkaichi Street sign. Sightseeing dragon. I still need to like grab the other ones as well, but I don't think we're gonna do that tonight, right? And depends on the time that I have left. Shit. I don't know what it is then. Get up, douche nozzle. Seriously? I mean, I did say get up, douche nozzle, but. Don't just. Strike me on the head like it's nobody's business. Bikes, got bikes, right? Close by enough. You just smacked me with a wooden, wooden sword, bastard. Listen, I'm trying to. That's good. At least sort of maxed out. I almost fell. <laughs> lo, 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 lo. Lizzie Tan almost fell. Tower is a good one. 
H5. Stealth on side of Millennium Tower in front of the glass between the two sets of doors. Okay. That's number two. yelling at me oh you there gun commander weapon skill improved wait I wanted that bike but who Isn't really what I wanted to do with bike. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like these weapon revelations. Get, they like keep getting in the way when I try to like pick it up and swing it. There's one motherfucker left all the way over there. Being scared of cat. charm. Wait, I missed B5 and I5. Where the fuck are these two? Three. B5? Oh, I forgot this one. And I5. It... Wait, I thought I picked that one up. Oh, no, it's J5. I5. I... 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 Aishteru! Oh, it's on top. Okay, yeah, okay, I know where to go. Damn, what a dumbass. So typical. And the other one is in Cafe Alps. Cafe Opi Opi Dopi Doop. Ooh. Oh, you. Anything? I see bike! Can't touch it. Anything else?
です。もうしません。もうしません。Lady, let me through. Is the last key but holes? Here. Oh, okay, that's all the keys found. No more having to run around in circles for dumb shit. Except for、uh, specific dumb shit. Somewhere or a bike. Just go to Smile Burger to raise my HP back up. Dine in. Smile shake. Asshole. Yo, they can dodge that asshole. Oops. <laughs> Did it again. Don't want to use this move. Scare. Stamina Royal.
boss to emulate. Steel Ninjaku. High payout token. Lucky Hanafuda card. Sturdy Iron Pipe. Stamina and Spark. Auto Token. Player's Peace. Banker's Peace. Give up peace. I can make people give up with uh, Shogi. Mystery Stone. Meow Shoes. Mew Shoes, whatever. Unwanted attention. <laughs> Lucky Tile. I'm so glad that the game has. Uh, gives you um, before all of the gambling things now uh, cheat items because it was such a hassle to actually get good at shogi uh, not shogi uh, what's the other game called again M something something Mayong I win rate token Mystery Stone. Actually, I don't know if there's also for Pachinko. Black Jewel. Photon Blade MG. Slime Gun. Red Jewel. High Tech Arm Guards. Scarf makes you less likely to draw a crowd. Nice. Chance of Stone. Double action revolver. Blackjack amulet. Toughness Emperor. Big Festival Fan. His Mountain Stone! Thor Knuckle. Lucky Hanafuda card. Slashing Tonfa. Antique Chainmail. Even Goro Beats. Steel Shin Guards. Royal Joker Cards. Ten ten one charm. Bottomless lighter. Trips Yokam. Mm. 
Beauty Girl Sticks. Funny. Gambler's Amulet. I grade Platinum. And the last one is Zero Jewel. Yeah, we got another item or thingy. Yeah, we're running through here. We're gonna go fight um, our senseis to unlock max level with Akiyama. Okay, do I have my weapons equipped? Yeah. Ah, welcome. Ready for a major breakthrough? These guys, it's a little bit harder to do it, but they said... Uh, Balmer said just use shotgun. Shotguns, I should rather say. I mean, the shotguns seem to do the trick. Once they start uh, double teaming my ass. This is not gonna work. Damn 
Damn, Kumaki, stop grabbing my ass and stop dodging bullets. I know you're a crazy old man. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna need more shotguns. Ah, well done. Now you will discover the deep well potential inside you. How nice of you. Dipshit. Okay, so that is done. Uh, I think that's it. We're gonna go heal up somewhere. Kanrai. I think we're gonna heal up at Kanrai. Kanrai. Kanrai-yo. Oi, Tomori! Use the cap to get back to Tenkaichi Street. Is there? Hey, hey, got the bike one. Is that it? Is that literally it? A charge attack? Enhanced bike attack. Oh, it's enhanced bike attack. Okay, so... I want to test. What is the difference between the regular bike attack and the enhanced bike attack? It feels like I've been using that move the entire time. Okay, launch strike is done! We just need to level up Akiyama now. Technically, all the side stuff is done for him. Person. Iron plate. If I just fight enough bad people, it's not that hard to get everything done. I just need to fight enough bad people. Locker keys are done. Uh, we want to do Pachinko and... Lots. Next. Holy shit, that, that just instantly max out my freaking... Yeah, let me just take two different ones. Picture. We still need to do a few other things, other pictures, but we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna prep for tomorrow during the day when I'll most likely be waiting uh, until we stream like in the afternoon. And that's getting the tokens, token, token, tokens for uh, the. Shots machine. So use I uh, drop items. Uh, 
Okay, we need... The only thing we need is the auto token. Let's just bring three of these. And the rest is not necessary for the first one. Let me actually read what uh, the Pachinko wants. 7,777 balls. Virtua Fighter, Aladdin Destiny. It's to get rich quick charm, which gives you jackpot very early. After that, you can continue jackpots. If you can continue jackpots coming, you stand a very good chance of making enough to the past the mini game. A virtual fighter was what worked for me because I got the rhythm going by multiple fights in a row. It took me five jackpots to get enough balls to complete the mini game. And the other two cheat items are chance stone, which increases the odds of winning 50-50. She hasn't fully parsed yet. Gambler's Amulet, which sets the wheel revolution to max. I kind of thought these were useless. Okay. Uh, so we bring the, that one around as well. <laughs> it's for mortal men, Pachinko. It's such a dumbass thing. Mm, Aladdin, Destiny, EX, Virtual Fighter. Hit jackpots and use the jackpot to get more balls. When you cash out, you can use your balls to get prizes. Getting the jackpot is the great trick, of course. The circle button starts and stops the flow of balls, and the left and right directional buttons not stick control how hard they flow. What you want is to get the balls in the little module just below the main screen. You'll know you hit it when you see skins. Uh, when she had jackpots, it's time to reckon the balls, and you do so by shooting your balls into a small drawer that opens near the bottom of the machine. Balls in there will slowly and steadily increase your total. Jackpot lasts for a set amount of time, there's usually a countdown. Yeah, okay, uh, that's another thing we just have to wait and be patient for. Uh, what was the cheat item for this one again? Get Rich Quick Charm. Get rich quick charm. I only have one of these. Hmm. Well, better something than nothing. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? It's near safe point, so that is good for me. I want to go check what the items were that I unlocked by doing everything from other things. So yeah, uh, slots we know, right? That is just your typical slot machine thing that a lot that you get like seven, 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 and whatever to score points and prizes and whatever. Uh, it's pretty much everyone knows what that is. Lucky bindings, Ooh, nice. Uh, Pachinko is like this Japanese exclusive gambling type machine. Uh, they're really not that interesting, and I'm just gonna like fix those like off stream, most likely, because uh, we we're probably going to have to sit still for a long time and just let it roll on its own. And I am not particularly in the mood to actually do that on stream. Like, if it was the other kinds of gambling and such, then there would have been, like, a reason for me to actually do something. Because I need to make choices, sometimes at least. But in this case, we do not have to deal with that. Uh, what is this? Mm -mm. Play the Beast King and Aladdin pachinko slot machines three times each beast king and aladdin pachi slot machines three times each oh, okay so those are the three different the two different uh slot machines good to know where are they slot sotan bori first jackpot and we'll have to refill if you run out. 
but while it spins you can do something else like read a book or compose a symphony. I suggest using other tokens and let it run for a while on Aladdin A Machine because you can get quite a few tokens Aladdin Chance and it won't stop the auto running. Mm, an even better chance of winning if when you load up Yakuza 5 and you get It's Your Lucky Day. And King Camel. Each location has all three. Okay, that's good to know at least. Uh, get maximum 15 tokens on any one spin, but getting jackpot mode going means that just about every spin you get for a certain amount of spins will give you... Yeah, that's actually quite cringe if you ask me. Let's just head into that direction for the time being. Go away! Come on, you! <laughs> ass, ass shit! No! Leave me alone! Oh wait, I still need experience points. Uh, maybe I should have fought them. Oh, whatever. Too late now. Chinko machine thingy. So these are the slot machines, and these are the pachinko machines. These are slots, pachinko. Okay, uh, exchange prizes. Chinko balls. What can I actually get? Ooh, platinum plates. With enough, but we're never gonna get that many pachinko balls. Or, you know, salt balls, because it's. Oh, maybe I just need to go in and it automatically gives me. So I haven't seen a guy yet to give me the shit. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow during the day. This is, I think this is pretty much the only thing that I really have to like wait for a long time for it to work. So yeah, let me go, ooh, look at the 74%, yo. That's going so fucking well. Door spots. Kamarucho needs two more locations to be found. Uh, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow during the day. Uh, during um, when the stream is starting, I guess. Everything else is like a little bit more enjoyable. I think there are only two mini games where I actually need to use my skill. <laughs> Not to mention, it's two of the worst mini games, though, but <laughs> who cares at this point, right? So yeah, ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all had a fantastic day and evening. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow if everything goes swell and well. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening. Sleep well tonight. Sweet dreams. And until next time, adios. Good night.